Yeah. Destiny, where the f are you hiring these ISIS producers, bro? That's a good question. Yeah. Oh no, shut the f up. Just flopped his f out and was waving it around. You would get f destroyed. My bag, 13 inches. Show us, you little freak. Like, what's the difference between a finger and a strap on? Like, look at What's the like, difference between a finger and a strap on? on? I don't want to talk about this too much. But of the course idea not. is that. Of course, of course not. Of course not. <laughs> That's a pretty yeah, wrong topic to talk about, dude. Well, right. <laughs> if you can't have fun, I recommend you shut the f up. Even though you can't come, you still decided to do that. Well, fun. Yes. Why is that the go-to option, though? Okay, right, choose it close, they make you pay. I bet your man is more in shape than Karantos. You a freaky ass <laughs> nigga, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 12 of Kick or Keep. Today, there I say, ladies and gentlemen, we have brought together the best eight man, man crew. Today, they'll be going head to head in an elimination style debate show where you, the audience, gets to decide who to kick or keep. No, I wasn't Spurgeon, by the way. I just, you know, I'm dyslexic. Anyways. The show is very simple. We'll give you a topic. You'll have 25 minutes to go through the topic, right? At the end, mm -hmm. we'll put a stroll poll in kick chat. The contestant with the highest amount of votes gets to decide who to kick and who to keep. With all that being said and done, it's very simple. That's the only rule. Also, the other rule is if I talk or Lil Steve, AKA Destiny talks, don't talk over us. That's pretty much it, okay? With all that being said and done, I'm your host, kick.com slash carantos. Joining me today is Kenneth Bonnell, Stephen the third, say hi. Hi. What's up, Stephen? Ken! What? D d delay time on you. Hey, Holy I already started doing emails. Are you? Do I have to pay attention to this shit? Are you serious? What do you want from yes, me? Yes, you f***ing have to pay attention. Holy shit, that's the only thing I want you to do. Okay. Guys, is there any questions before we get on with the intro? Is, this is Stephen competing with us today? Or, or what? No, if, he's no, not. I can't. If I compete, then why is there two hosts? Nobody's going to want to be on the show because you'd all fucking lose horror. No, there's one, one real host mm. and then the other one does, does emails. We're going like to turn hours. the libtards today. We're going to get them all going the other emails way. emails for you the whole time? <laughs> yeah, he pretty much does my emails. No, that's yep. Kelly's True. the one that does free work for Kronos, not me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> shut the f*** up, you <laughs> idiot. Anyways. Anyways, guys, let's get on with the intros, okay? Top left. Professional boxer, six foot two. I made that up. I don't know if he is. Nah, he's like uh, five nine. Very long face. Can I do my intro? I don't know who just spoke, but it's your last chance, buddy. Okay, six two. <laughs> Apparently, has Zena offering her virginity to him, aka Sneeko's ex girlfriend. Pretty weird. I mean, she did tell me to tell you, hey, beat his ass up for me. We've got Brandon Buckingham. Go ahead and introduce yourself, please. I just did a pretty good job. I mean, I appreciate you guys having me. Thanks for being here with me. There you go. There you go. Lovely Riz. Was I supposed to have like a, a something prepared? No, 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 you don't. Yeah, bro, you're putting us on the spot now. What the f Yeah, that's YouTuber. the point. You guys are commentary channels. I'm sorry you don't have YouTube editing to hide behind. Oh, oh I need you guys true. to you know, be able we to got speak YouTubers for yourself. here. If it makes you guys feel any better, just pretend that we're recording and we'll release the episode later. So we'll cut out all the dumb shit you say. That makes it better. Yeah, repeat yourself like ten times. Who cares? Yeah. You know what I mean. Well, excuse us thing. for having any f***ing modicum of production value instead of twenty four seven streaming our <laughs> shitty. <laughs> You just play League of Legends and are silent while you steal my content, <laughs> right, you piece right. of shit. Okay, Michael Bay. <laughs> okay, Michael Bay. <laughs> okay, Christopher <laughs> Nolan. Okay, Quentin Tarantino. That's who I fucking am, okay? Value. I put oh thousands of dollars into my fucking work and you just sit around and jack off, okay? Jesus. So fuck off. Yo, fucking come, only somebody's got to feed people. Come on. Okay. Tell the yeah, right. me, oh. motherfucker. He doesn't feed yeah, anyone, okay? Turkey! I'm fucking talking. You're breaking rule number two. There's only two. Holy <laughs> shit. To the right of Brandon and above Muda. Wait, I shouldn't have said your name. We're going to get to you. Wait. We've got a man who actually dressed up for the show. I truly appreciate it. Fox Akimbo. Go ahead and introduce yourself. You should How's turn your going, phone guys? sideways, bro. Uh, apparently, my audio is a lot worse if I do that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> what? I, I, I'm not gonna lie. How does that make any um, sense? I don't know. I don't know. Um, my name is Fox Akimbo. I've got a YouTube channel. Uh, I do kind of commentary, documentary stuff. Um, representing Europe tonight, because I guess this is a panel of Americans and stuff, and I was asked to... Whoa, 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 uh, don't <laughs> offend me with that, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was about to say, yeah. I'm, I'm representing, so I, I think I'm that's probably retarded. about it, to be fair. 
<laughs> nice queef, that? bro. That? I mean, me. quiff, sorry. Yo, nice That's suit. Me. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. 3,000. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, actually, hey. Uh, no, no, it wasn't. I don't make enough of that. <laughs> Okay, Fox, thank you for coming on. Below Brandon and above me. There's plenty I can say about this man. He's one half of playback. You know what I mean? Beard, a bit patchy. Glasses approved. Hairline, could visit Turkey. I'm trying to fucking make introductions. Why the fuck are you cutting me off? Hold on, bro. Brandon's got something going on in the fucking. It got my attention. What the fuck? This is just my friend. That's his dad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, well, Dad, I'm entertaining you. Stop, stop. Stop. Elderly. stop. We yes. got the legend of winning, a.k.a. Low. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Yo, look, if you don't know me that well, you can, you can just say one half a play. Brother, I watch playback. Oh, I know All the, all the other you. things that you were I saying were you. just completely unnecessary. <laughs> But yo, thank y'all for having me. Yes, one one half of playback, legend of winning, aka low. Thank y'all. Thank you for having me. Oh, you were I'm playback. Brother. No, I'm just just one half of it. Is that a fat joke? No, 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 no. no, no. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool. cool. All right, no. Oh no. <laughs> well, we got some okay, fragility already. You know his soft spot. Oh, yeah. yeah, we got his soft spot already. Okay. Holy. F to the right of low and below Dest Tiny. Actually, watch Why some you of your videos to like me? prepare for this. No, below you, because you the technically longest is below you ever, bro. These are the longest You were doing intro. Yeah. Brother, we're trying to get the four hours. You think it's easy, okay? It's oh. Not... oh. Okay. Hey, this, this is a four hour? Out. This is a four hour thing? Not for it's you. Not... <laughs> <laughs> no, not, <laughs> not for me. Hey, not vote for me, me out. You can't hey, round one. Minutes, four hours. hours. You can't be. You can't be. Not four hours. It's three hours on a good day. Anyways. Li I, I don't want to say Linux because it's not Linux. Le it's Linux. Le it's Linux. It doesn't it's even Linux. do. No, it you can literally. Put your mouse it's over Linux. His name and it's see it. I, I could see his name, but it's, it's like I'm again. Like I told you, I'm slightly <laughs> dyslexic. I can't read. We got Lyrix. Go ahead and introduce yourself, my man. Hello, I'm Linux. Happy to be here. Make oh, commentary nice, videos. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you for coming on. I appreciate you for coming on. Guys, it's jokes. We're lighting up, you pieces of shit. Everybody's laughing at everything I'm saying. Okay. To the right of lyrics and below, Fox Akimbo. Some ordinary gamers. I don't know why you have an S in the name. Uh, Hello, Indian. It's, it's a <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I'm, I'm Mudahar, okay? My name is Mudahar, okay? My channel is Some Ordinary Gamers because I like to include people into the community. I like smoking crack cocaine and making videos in my oh, free time. Guy. That's what I do, ladies and gentlemen. Bam! There we go, Carantos. That's there we the go. Thank goodness. Okay, I don't know why you tried escaping me introducing you. It would have yeah. been fun. Guys, don't, don't do that. I enjoy these introductions. Below lyrics. To the left of two mad and diagonal to Muda and low. Turkey Tom, go ahead and introduce yourself. Wait, you're not going to introduce yourself, Kronos? Yeah, because he was one. waiting for it. I saw him. Nobody gives a f about the producer, yeah, nobody dude. Nobody, nobody knows. This guy's got 200 <laughs> followers on Twitter. Nobody knows who the oh, fuck yeah, this guy is. Oh, yeah, keep talking shit. Stop, trying, guy to, in the stop trying to out us that. It doesn't work. There's already an Ethiopian fing white hip about? weirdo that does this. It's, it doesn't work. Go ahead and introduce yourself. I'm not Ethiopian. Who are you, Kronos? My name is. My name is um, Mashali. I'm an incel content creator. You can find me at youtube.com slash Mashali, Mashali, Mashali crack, rack. Um, I make a lot of red pill content. I'm going on Fresh and Fit next week. Me and Sneeko have been hanging out a lot lately, so yeah, you can, you can check me out. Wait, is that true? No. Oh yeah, brother, red pill for life. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? How's that? Not true. Wait, you're going to go on he Fresh and Fit next out. week? He just went straight red pill. Yeah, I'm going on Fresh and Fit, dude. Just message uh, Myron. I don't believe yeah, you. Not, you you're down in Miami. You're not <laughs> Why would you not me? believe me? Where, where's my, I'm famous. Where's? Are you really? Hold on. Your channel's like dead. Don't you get like three thousand views a video? Think get the fuck out of here. Go, dude. Take that next. Go. Right. Right. Hey, what the fuck are you saying? Hey, he just called you ass. I'm mailing nigga. you anthrax. Anyway. Fuck you. Nice guys, take it seriously. In to the right of Tom and below Muda, we have the schizo poster himself. Whatever. Listen, just cause, listen, I gained a bit of weight and everybody says that I'm too mad. I don't know why. The f got too mad over here, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead and introduce yourself. You're fat, I am dude. Too I, I used, I'm really good at Twitter. I'm excellent at Twitter. I'm tremendous at Twitter. Extremely so. You get me. You understand. Mm. I'm black. I'm fat. I'm not fat anymore. 
Okay. So Let's see it. Come on. Do. Let's prove it to you, Matt. No. Oh, Show the gut. See the physique. Show the gut. Take your shirt off. Take your shirt off. What the fuck? Okay, oh, buddy. man. All right. This All is right. a lot oh, of Twitch. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I think this is an improvement. <laughs> or There's got to be an yeah. NSFW or something. You Anyways, know what? I, two bet two Matt, I bet Tumat is more in shape than Karantos. Best, best. You, yeah, yeah, listen, yeah. If you're trying to get me to do the same thing, you couldn't pay me all the money in the world, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. It's not going to happen. Yeah, because you have Yes, Tumat. No, it's because, again, I hide my face for the same reason I don't show anything else. Too f***ing good looking. Below Turkey Tom, we have watch list. William McDonald. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, hello. I make uh, red pill videos. That's it. Based, based. Fuck that. Based. <laughs> oh, I got it. You uh, guys all suck, by the way. Anyways, <clears throat> let's get into the, uh, let's get into the, except low, except low. I like For Destiny, you. where the f*** are you hiring these ISIS producers, bro? The <laughs> Why the f*** are you talking? Yeah, it's really about professional it. hire. He can't even show his face. Yeah, dude. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I swear I saw this. I don't even understand what the quiet. joke is. ISIS yeah. had a ton of great video producers. Obviously, the they're out of work now. The joke is that we now. all saw this guy. <laughs> Why? Why? I'm just saying. This is like the most... Turning, I'm just wonder. saying, bro. All the videos went viral. All the videos went viral. Yeah, it's not like the guys making the ISIS videos are the ones doing the execution. Why would I not hire the talent? Come on, bro. That's mm. true. Uh, Hiring out of country to pay lower wages. Classic destiny. Dude, okay, shut the destiny. F up. Why the f are you talking like I'm some make a wish fing case? You half of you niggas look like you need to put on a mask. Now let me get on with the topic. <laughs> Thank you very much. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, first of all, I assume that most of you guys are familiar with the Nick is not green since you know Muda wanted me to tease it. I want to get into it first, even though it wasn't the first question. Actually, mm -hmm. Lyrics, you did a video covering this. Like, it was like 35 minutes long or something. Yeah. To the best of your knowledge, could you take us through the Nick is not green situation? Um, so basically, Super Mega is like a comedy skit YouTube channel that recently got uh, falsely accused of covering up someone's sexual assault who they were friends with in the past. And uh, to spare all the details, the Nick is not green thing is that he was friends with the person who allegedly got sexual, sexually assaulted. He made a video. He made a video saying that all the allegations were absolute fact. He didn't say allegation once in the video. He took everything as bulletproof, like proof, as if it actually mm -hmm. happened. When in reality, I mean, it's just allegations at the end of the day with no proof and whatnot like that. So, I mean, he just falsely accused someone of sexual assault and Ooh. covering up a sexual assault. He accused, uh, he called the guy a rapist blatantly in, in his video. So, I mean, yeah, just blatant. I mean, because. Doesn't There's just like no than evidence that? at all. There's just like no, no possible evidence, mm. no nothing, a not quote, even a like quote, super circumstantial. A quote, literally from his video, is that of course I'm not going to question uh, oh, my shit. friend's word. So he's using mm -hmm. the thing of like saying that he's friends with the person, so he's going to go on his public platform of 700,000 people to accuse someone of sexually assaulting someone with no proof other than his, uh, his friend's testimony. Like so it's just shame. I mean, like. Yeah, like, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you're friends with someone, if your friend mm -hmm. goes to you and tells you, like, hey, I was sexually assaulted by this guy, yeah. like, a normal friend would be like, oh, my God, that's horrible. Like, put, like, t like, I believe you. I just want to comfort you or some bullshit like that. You know what I mean? If you're friends with them behind closed doors. But if you have a yeah. 700K YouTube channel, you have a fucking responsibility to not just platform your friend's blatant allegations with no proof at all. Because now you're jeopardizing other people's lives, you know? So that's basically, yeah. Dude, I hate Let me ask you guys. now, bro. Everyone else can just not research and, like, put out... Yeah, dude, it's so shameless, crazy. and he has the most popular video on the topic. You know what yeah. I mean? So he, like, he's getting the most eyes, it's shameless. Only same shit did true. Harden watched that shit anyway, so he's feeding them. He knows what they want, is what that is. He's like a special... Wait, hold on. Yeah, hold he's on, more Brandon. guilty, Brandon, super Brandon. mega or two mad. Wait, hold on, Willie oh. Mac. Brandon, didn't you, did you just say it's the same thing that they did with two mad? I was just... Around. It's similar. Oh man, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> I think I think you guys also made a two oh, man video. So we can do a full deep deep dive here. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, I, I agree. I agree with two Matt. He's like that video just seems like it's feeding retard. So you know, as yes. long as you feed like them, that. then you're good. Yeah. It's just yeah, like 14 year olds. It's 14 year old Twitter artists who have like never experienced any life experience like whatsoever. Yeah, it's like T channel shit. It's like people don't care if things are right or wrong. They just want their biases to be re like confirmed. I guess you know. Yes, that's, that's masturbatory. Okay, let me ask you guys this question then. Do you feel like YouTube should, you know, hold creators like Nick is not green accountable for making hit piece no. videos? No. 
The yeah, signal no. boost unverified that's that's sexual assault allegations. No, Wait, you no, don't bro, YouTube, 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 you, YouTube needs to bring community notes onto Ooh. the platform. We should all be allowed to make videos and respond and just, you know, that's not like, terrible. Correct people. That'd be a good idea. But smart people already know what's going on. So it's just dumb. <laughs> No, shut the. No, well, majority yeah, unfortunately, no. Yeah. If smart people know the, what actually is going on here, I mean, that's one thing. But the majority of people aren't smart. I mean, everyone watching that video is just a dumb fourteen-year-old. You know. So just even though, up. so even no, hold on. So even though super mega, like they've come out saying that guys, we might not be able to, you know, continue content creation. Da 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 da. Even though his actions could lead to a channel like super mega's. To stop creating content, you don't believe that YouTube should step in because, again, like with the EDP no. situation, for instance, no. right? You, well, hold on, like let's talk about it, right? With the EDP situation, YouTube took him down even though there wasn't any legal proceedings. Nobody came out. It happened off platform. Like it's not back. No, by, it's not know. a similar situation. Yeah, but EDP, EDP was, was like a day, bro. Yeah, yeah. EDP's yeah. EDP problem is like ED YouTube kicked EDP not because of the allegation, because EDP could possibly potentially like offend or you know find minors on their platform. They, they proactively did it so that they didn't have to deal with this shit if it you know down the line. They just that's every platform right there. It's almost two separate scenarios. I mean, and what what we've seen from YouTube is they're not going to be consistent anyways. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. No. They're not going to be consistent. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, these reporting rules, badly promoted. is not illegal. You know, I think I think like platform moderation is a bad idea. I think one thing that's kind of like difficult to confront about stuff like this is that um, it's very easy to like write it off as like it's Twitter artists, it's 14 year olds. And that is very funny. And I like that narrative, mm -hmm. but that's not real. In reality, I think it's just like, you know, you see this happen in every community. We've seen this. We had Slazo back in the day. We had Quite. Now we have this. These are different communities of people who experience this. Um, some of them are 14, but some of them are also adults. I think that, you know, the, the reality you have to accept is that people just want to believe a victim. They do. Um, and in that, you will have sort of a destruction of channels, and there will be like a viciousness to it as well, because people think that's the right thing to do. They get catharsis out of that. But these are not necessarily children. These are like very average people. I think they're also people that we could reach and potentially talk to um, and mm -hmm. convince of the truth. Um, I don't think they're just stupid. I think they're they're uninformed. I think they haven't that's seen stupid. a situation personally where it flips. Too bad you're f***ing stupid. You came on my stream no, and, incrimin and incriminated I'm yourself in a lawsuit. Shut the f*** up. Yeah, I know, I Shut know. the f*** up. Oh, 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 if you were smart, oh, you go to the Hey, Jim, so shut up and let me finish. Holy shit. Oh, you're Joe, Jim. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Host, host, host. host. Dude, I love Jim Rat Tom, bro. Am I? <laughs> just, I'm just, on. Is my mic yeah, on now? Tom's you... new after Hello? he worked out. <laughs> Hey, Tom's okay, question. Let me, throw, let, me throw, let me throw a question. Also, when I'm the host, <laughs> Cyber, I'm going to f***ing mute you, motherfuckers, okay? This is my goddamn show, all right? Me and Q. Okay, here's a question. I was about to say, I let me toss. Just, just, no, f*** you. Okay, just kind of okay. let me throw a Let me throw a question here, okay? Do you think that mm -hmm. Super Mega, I'm going to victim blame a little bit, do they have any responsibility for fostering a fan base yes. of people that are this sensitive to these types of issues? Yes. Don't they just well, play video games? That, it's not even that, that though. I, don't read, I, don't see that. I, think, I think it is that. I think that one thing when you're a content creator that I've noticed you have to be super careful on is uh, some things you do and say, well, implicitly, um, you know, not explicitly, implicitly, bring in groups of people that don't agree with you. And if you don't fight those people on the opinions they do have and confront them when you see it, then eventually you're going to deal with a bunch of idiots in your audience that are going to go Break for the throat the in situations like this. And so with, with, and so with Super Mega, they pandered to this audience of like, you know, I'm not saying it's bad to be LGBT, but very like progressive, pro LGBT, trans. All the gays trans. just falsely accuse. That's what Tom said. That that is what I'm saying. But it's it's this subsect of trans <laughs> of, of, of like trans. It's it's, it's this subsect artists. of like trans alphabet Twitter users, and we all know who they are. We've seen them exist, and I think that by yeah, pandering to them a little and bit and, and pandering and pandering to the believe all victims crowd. I think they they unfortunately caught themselves in the crossfire. Now, is it totally their fault? Did they probably know what they were doing the whole time? Probably not. But there probably were points along the way, I, I think, Destiny, to answer your question, where they probably could have looked back and been like, do we really want to get this audience of people? And they were like, well, it's never going to go wrong, right? And then it did. I think well, it's also crazy. The fact if you get they... falsely accused, bro, uh, hold on. If you get falsely accused by somebody that works for you, you're always going to get absolutely Right okay, that but when it comes about working for you, though, absolutely not true. That is absolutely not true. Different communities will who, absolutely respond in different ways to accusations. Tom, if your girlfriend turned around and was like, "Tom raped me," and then your best friend made a video about how you did it, you would get destroyed. At least at the no, beginning. No, I would not. Absolutely. No, I would not.
Because no, I have set a precedent on all of my channels of waiting for proper evidence I've to never come out, of waiting women. to see both sides. I have I have consistently set believe women with caution, with caution, <laughs> wait for receipts. Okay, and that's always what I've yeah, said, so, and that so is exactly what would happen. Lying, yeah. That is exactly what happened. I'm fully I'm, confident, and this is why I constantly wrestle my audience about shit like this in, in chat. You know, and can we also videos. say? Yeah, can I, we wait, also say it's like them running their business like fucking children too, yeah. like. It's yeah. like if you if you own like an office like we like I have my office I'm never gonna let friends or like coworkers just stay at my office for free yeah. like bro at some point you got to be like a mature adult and say listen go get a fucking house go go do something else go go there's a time for place and work like, like a time for like you know just yeah. us being friends and being professional. I think you're very right yeah and there was a point when they did do that Sorry. and then she made this video months later where she said that they covered up her. So that's what they got for kicking around. Then, the then the other well, one just... was, wasn't it, wasn't like, um, somebody had like a whole allegation of like, I guess one of the employees after he got fired came out and was like, oh yeah, they also harassed me because I was gay. And then now there's yeah, text yeah, messages. Like, just... on. So then, but like, so I, I agree. <laughs> yeah. Like, but there's like, if, when you sit here and treat employees, I understand like people have like friendships with the people they employ. So that's fine. But when you sit here and treat them as if like their children are everything buddy, buddy, and there's no like real understanding of the lines of like, what's acceptable and what's not and that you're like crossing lines then you just set yourself up for like to get fucked in the long run even I mean, if they you just, have they irrefutable just, evidence they just tried to be like frat boys of a whole bunch of yeah. non-binary like only fan tours you know what i mean that was where they went wrong good. when yeah. you when you get canceled you find out who's good and stays everybody who's stupid they can think what they want it's good for them yeah, but going back, I've heard this take float around. I've heard this take float around of that they're culpable for pandering to this audience. But what it, I don't, I don't know what they did to pander to this audience. Like I've heard people say I, that, I, but I how they bitches. pandered? <laughs> they pandered how? by being little bitches and making cringe content of sitting down on the they couch. They fought at creators. But to my knowledge, they talked about pussy ass, bitch ass topics. Oh, wow. I'd say like probably um topic. making really shitty music and like dressing like a little girl oh, probably is Matt Watson's crime. He, he, he right, what, what audience did two men cultivate? Though you know, what? like I, that's two, what two I was cultivated an audience. Yeah, okay, so, like, wow. yeah, there's like a lot of problems. Like obviously the audience that they build, this like super hyper lefty mega progressive audience. I don't even think that's like the worst part, right? Like I don't think that's the worst part. I don't think that's ever going to be the worst part. Yeah, yeah it's, it's definitely part. not the worst part, but I don't even know what they mm -hmm. did to cultivate to that audience. Like, I don't know. I, I, I've yeah, heard people like, say did they, did they, they just make like friendly content or something. Like, just to be clear, let me. I'll just drop it. I've researched it, but I've never just, seen anyone uh, give an example let me, let of how they just, pandered. I'll just drop this in that when I saw like me and a couple other people respond to what was going on, I wasn't injecting. I don't think very much politics into the take or whatever. I was just like, this seems really insane. There's no evidence. Blah blah blah. And when my stuff started getting posted in their subreddit, all the top comments were like, "Isn't Destiny a Nazi? Why are we taking this guy seriously at all? Like, doesn't this guy hate black?" people like and it's like why the f did you consider that? <laughs> no so it's it undoubtedly to me yeah so i don't know what they did but it seemed like they'd fostered it's, a yeah no it's undoubtedly like, true i think i think it's true. that audience it is true. i think it's an audience of people that just like literally are okay with getting like third hand accounts like it's like the destiny is a nazi argument i've heard that a million times and like there's just like it's people that like have heard something from like two three people like this long game of telephone and oh. they refuse to actually go and see the source of any material or like come to their own conclusions now that's the kind of audience you foster walking, like, they like to go to the store and they like to have people see them that's what they like they like walking on the street and wearing here's the clothes, bright colors here's the main thing super mega is culpable for for the biggest they did is in their response yeah. video uh the matt response video they completely mm -hmm. threw don who was the guy who was us uh, assaulted with i mean accused of assault with no evidence they threw him completely under the bus they completely co uh agreed with lex saying we're sorry that he sexually assaulted you we apologize for that we believed you when they were the ones getting falsely accused they then threw another guy under the bus i think they have also to take that out though because they just they don't know optically but happens, that's not good ethically you know I mean, optically and ethically, like they just have to take that L because let's say Lex is telling the truth, right? There's no mm -hmm. proof either way. If Lex is telling the truth and that completely, f I mean, sorry to use the word, rapes them in the long run if they then claim that she's falsely accusing, right? That's a horrible no, idea. Don't get me wrong. It's good PR. It's the best PR they could have done. I mean, mm -hmm. that was the best uh, route they could have went in that response video, but that doesn't is make there it any right. Chance I mean, it's still, that, that would be the number one example. That would be the number one example of them pandering to that audience because they yeah. absolutely believe someone and accuse someone of saying assault without any proof i just think i feel like they have to do that like i don't think they would have won if they did that. i mean yeah i, don't think they I mean you're right but that's pr at the end of the day it's not like so there was so there's more 
sexual assault because I thought the allegation yeah, was, was the just guy like guilty? somebody. Yeah, I, th- I no, thought there's no proof. No, there's, there's no, there's no proof. He, yeah. he, he gave his testimony, which was a completely different story of events, which was not sexual assault. And Lex gave her, who was accusing him, Lex gave her okay, account, and it was debatably sexual assault. But there's no proof either way. Like, oh, so I wanna, I wanna like be, to I throw be one guy under the bus is just absurd, you know. We talked about the where she was my like she was argument. getting head. She was getting head, and then like he said, well, she was giving head, Something and then like he put the head on like the like I, he, I got forced down, and it was like oh, I was like, and then the and he claimed that like I I did do that, but after that we stopped, and I apologized, and we just did something else for the rest of the night. So it sounds I think from my understanding, it's more of a bad experience rather. It was an awkward sexual experience. Yeah, we like. My, can we like can we like re reproach again? Because I don't know all what these arguments are horrible, horrible. All these there's there's like horrible there's like there's like there's like there's like three or four yeah. different things that happened. The main the main problem with discounting Lex sexual assault is it very well could have happened. We have we literally have no idea what happened there. We know For her sure. story from from her story. She feels she actually assault from his. He feels Ooh. he didn't sexually assault her, but he opens up by apologizing to her. Which honestly, does that mean he's guilty? No. But I feel like if I felt like I was falsely being accused. of Assault, I'd be fucking exactly. angry and livid, and he uh, yeah, came right out with an admission. How many times oh, yeah. have we seen someone respond poorly to being accused? Yeah. That's, that's true. Apologize. That's true. But but that but I'm not done. I'm not done. There's we we have no oh, evidence yeah. of what happened in that room. And my other thing with this um, is like let's say let's say she did get sexually assaulted, right? There's often like no proof for a sexual assault if it happens inside of a bedroom. Okay, there's there, there's there's literally none. Like, if she's supposed to, like, have predicted she would be assaulted and then just recorded it all? Like, like what is the standard the of proof we're asking for? So I understand, I understand, like, you know, her feeling she got sexually assaulted, and I think that that's not even a hill that anyone should should die on argumentatively. Wait, I didn't, think she, there didn't are, she date I, the guy for a year after it happened, wait, though, too? Wait, I don't no. think it was a year. I would be crazy. Multiple months. Multiple months. Nobody was, like, six months or so. It was, like, six the months same, or so. The same like, months same, so. The same she, dated, she dated him at Bro, all. Is it, see, this is the thing. We gotta actually have, like, a timeline for this. Like, we're talking wait, about... I, the I thought it was, like, six, 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 not, what we're not supposed to do that is hill, just you know. Like, I think you have to run over that hill, and I think to to win to win this, you can question other things in a narrative, right? If you want to talk argumentatively, there's so much bullshit in that video for us already outside of the sexual assault. Sexual assault, we have no fucking idea what happened. Okay, 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 okay. okay. The, 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 the hill to know. die on, the hill to die on, is saying we don't know what happened, so let's not ruin each person's party's life over something we can't even prove. But that's that's the yeah, no. Isn't it just like when shit like this happens, super serious stuff, just fucking wait for it. Just wait for both. Like, if yeah. you that's can't prove, well, if you can't prove a sexual assault happened, okay, instead of just throwing allegations out there willy-nilly, okay, let's try to fucking vet that shit first. That's all. That's all it comes exactly. down to. Also, and if I you agree, have no proof, then how the fuck also, are we going to accuse them? I agree I we should wait, really, wait, and we, really should, we shouldn't ruin it's her really life, important. but I don't want to accuse Lex of lying on that particular point. That's great. I don't think I don't think anybody's saying this. Wait, 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 wait. We're at the end of round one. Okay. okay. Chill. Okay. We've got straw polls in chat. People vote to keep, not kick. And now, at the end of round one, Turkey Tom, just because you're blabbering so fucking much, okay? You are the winner. You are the winner. Yeah, you are the winner of round one. But now you have to make, okay, the strongest of talkers have to have the hardest of wills to make the, the toughest decisions. You have to choose to kick either... Willie Mac or Fox Akimbo. Good luck. Oh no. Ooh. Oh wow. Um, I feel like okay. Can I explain my reasoning, or do I have to? You can do whatever you want. Explain away. Go for it. Okay, sure. chat. Here's my reasoning. First round. I know I talked a lot. I talked over people. I interrupted a lot. I'm gonna work on that. Okay, I'm working on myself. I have a lot of narcissistic tendencies. I'm, you know, I'm just like a girl. I'm traveling around. I'm working on myself, doing heroin stuff like that. But I think that I'm gonna have to kick Fox Akimbo because he didn't really talk. Yeah, Even though I really uh, like him and I love his hair, it's fine. Thank up you for very this. much. Thank you. Sideways. Um, I'll be honest. I really didn't know shit about this entire situation, so it did kind of feel a bit bullshit for me to kind of weigh stand. in if I really don't know anything. Um, but that's completely fine. Thank you very much for for having me, guys. It's it's really been a uh, a treat just to be able you just to kicked uh... him for not talking out of his ass. <laughs> all right, bro. Good night, dude. I mean, yeah, you had to do what else is doing saying, here. Wait, hold That's on. We're all doing this last guys, 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 let him shout himself out. Fox, shout uh, out. Yeah, I mean, social. it's past my bedtime, so I got to go. Oh, shit. Your decision. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> um, you gonna show us your my name is Fox Akimbo. I'm on YouTube. Look me up. Um, yeah, I mean, that's based. I'm on Instagram, Twitter as well, at Fox Akimbo. Everything, Fox Akimbo. F-O-X-A-K-I-M-B-O. Thank you very much, guys. It's been a pleasure.
Thank God. Thanks for coming on. Peace out. USA. USA. Fucking finally, everyone hears from the continent now. Get the Euros out of here. Just like wait, wasn't he Australian? Anyways, wait, I forgot. Anyways, guys, congratulations for making it to round two. Wow. Ninety-nine percent of people do so. How many? There's a person that keeps disconnecting. Or did I just hear that? By the way, did somebody disconnect? Yeah, somebody. Mully Mac went out for a minute. Yeah. Exited. Got wings. Okay. 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 Here's my next topic. Okay, and Muda, you could weigh in on this one because it's one that you actually covered, and I'm interested in all of you guys' take. It's about oh, the yeah. YouTube DMCA system and what they've been doing with a creator that goes by the name of Vince Vintage. Now, I don't think a lot of you guys are familiar with this situation, so you know what? Just like last round when we went to Lyrics, uh, Muda, could you give us a brief okay. synopsis? So basically what's been going on is a YouTuber known as Vince Vintage has basically been targeted for a month by a person abusing the DMCA system. He made a video about uh, an Xbox hack and he covered this, you know, a uh, hacker that hacked the government and whatnot. So shortly after he made the video, the video gets taken down by the DMCA system and the DMCA, like you can check, you can check who emails, like, you know, what the name and the email and like, you know, what the claim is. It was an email from like Proton Mail, which is like a dark web, uh, secure, uh, privacy focused email service. Anyways, his video was taken down and he was basically in this like Twitter spat with this like douchebag hacker that claimed to not do it, but obviously, you know, playing a little bit dumb. Anyways, he uh, was getting stalked, ended up hiring a legal team, private investigation firm, and the problem has exacerbated to the point where this uh, guy, uh, where like multiple copyright strikes are now being issued to his channel to the point where if you're over three strikes on your channel, period, you're entering like a termination phase. So that's pretty much what it comes down to. And um, that's just, uh, that's where it is. Um, that's all. That, that's Do we know anything? It's finally stepping in. Hmm? Is there any debate? Do you know anything about talk? the hacker? That's good. Uh, really. Well, this is something that like uh, Vince has got through his PI. Uh, I know that YouTube's doing stuff behind the scenes. I don't know how much of the liberty I'm able to discuss. Um, so we're just going to leave it at that. You yeah, just got that secret info. Hacker. I mean, it's it's one thing that I was working with him behind the scenes on. I mean, I think like, we could talk about like just from his video, like the reason the hacker went after him. Do we go into that at all? Well, the hacker went after him because basically what Will, uh, what um, what uh, Vince was Vince, doing was he asked yeah. him for an interview. And Vince, when he asked him for an interview, the guy was like, I'm not going to give one to you, even though that I was already on podcasts. And uh, anyways, he told him, like, pretty much let the story die. Vince was like, all right, fuck it. I'm not going to get an interview, but I'm still going to make the video. He makes the video. The guy gets pissed at his portrayal of him. And this whole DMCA situation starts. Uh, Vince kind of put the fucking bullet on his back or the bullseye on his back. Anyways. So. Mm -hmm. How kind of situation. situation? Well, just by just by getting his Maybe attention and talking good. to him, even though this yeah. topic was covered extensively. This guy, to, to give a little to, to give a little more context, this guy is like an old head Xbox hacker who got busted yes. and went to jail. He was arrested mm -hmm. by the FBI back in the day. He went to jail, Fuck gets him. out. Now, a lot of people like to make videos about these guys because it's really interesting to hear about you know Anonymous and Wizard Squad and these these hacker groups that you know hack PlayStation or Xbox and go to jail. So this guy, this guy goes to jail, gets out. A bunch of people make videos about him. Um, Vince decides to do a video. He decides to reach out to one of the people involved, who's this hacker. The hacker is like, no, I'd rather you just not make the video. And Vince is like, okay, well, I'm just going to make it anyway. So he makes it, and now this hacker's been relentlessly harassing him. Yeah, yeah, so I he's see. Taken, so he kinda... he's, this hacker has happened. copyright struck, um, or not struck, allegedly, he's, he's DMCA allegedly. take... Okay, this hacker has allegedly yeah. DMCA take down 12 of his videos, I believe, or five, five to 12 of his videos. Um, his channel is at risk of termination very soon. Um, YouTube has not done much about it. Um, are we yeah. debating? I mean, what do we, what do we, oh, yeah, the, we big, new the biggest, 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 the biggest bullshit culture that YouTube has created is that you have to whine and bitch on Twitter to get anything done, which is, that, that's like the worst. I blame this. But, they're, they're but as far that. as I know, as far as I know, the big picture issue with this is not just YouTube, it's copyright law itself, because I believe YouTube technically, and now they do mediate sometimes, um, but technically YouTube is not supposed to mediate copyright disputes. Copyright is a legal matter. If you DMCA mm -hmm. someone's YouTube, you, someone's YouTube video, um, that is a legal proceeding. It is not like a YouTube proceeding. So people complaining about the DMCA system, I, I understand it, but I think a lot of that comes down to copyright 
copyright law. As far as submitting your email or contact info, that's also part of copyright sure. law. As far as I know, you have to submit your information in some way. I, now, I just feel like the easiest way to solve this is like just when you're filing a DMCA claim and you claim to be like somebody like, you know, fucking whatever your name is, provide a government issued ID or a passport or something yes. that proves you're that Don't person. Don't you just that, dispute that would it be... though and he's, he's good? No, but if you, if you... If you just dispute it, you give up. If you dispute it, you give up all your information. But they're not really giving up theirs. So if you're gonna file a claim, prove that you're from somebody. Like and to more like if I made a video about like Starfield and like fucking somebody was like I'm from Zenimax Legal. YouTube's just gonna be like all right, fucking uh, throw him to the dogs. Now, I, I mean, mean like, surely this guy already filed. knows his info, right? Yeah, I but I mean, like, but when you're filing a claim, you can just pretend to be somebody. So the whole like t like Starfield, for instance, if somebody pretended to be from the legal team of like. Take two, like the parent company, they're not proving that they're this person. YouTube just taking your video down. So I feel like if you're going to do that, provide a driver's license, a fucking official letterhead, some like real piece of documentation yeah. that YouTube can look yeah. before they send yeah. that through. That for would the be bigger nice. picture. And, and I, and I bigger... understand like the frustration with like YouTube like not responding, but I think that mm -hmm. Muda, you'd probably agree with this. Like they just don't want to mediate copyright disputes because then that gets them into hot water with you know these past cases. That gets like, that gets them into that gets them into trouble with the safe harbor stuff. They don't want to be yeah. mediating this shit at all. So They're they like, so hey, they look, don't they fucked, like I understand the frustration and like I get it, but like big picture, I don't necessarily blame YouTube that much because it's like just it's totally fucked. You know, it's not really. So in their if head, they, but if if go ahead go, go ahead go because I just got like oh, a, a massive question. Do we know what would have to change big picture? about the copyright to be able to change this with youtube Do you know uh, no, honestly no, no, no. i think it's mostly like a it's, it's probably just Let's like a youtube form issue we could determine something better right now that feels there like a pipe like if that there would, would have to be that big thing would change is insane to think you know there would have to be like an insanely high not insanely high there would have to be a much higher standard than there currently is in order to get like a dmca like a video dmca so like Let's say we'd had like some government official reviewing each DMCA claim, which I mean, there would be a whole fucking new uh, branch of the government, a new three letter agency dedicated to just that because of how many copyright disputes there are. So, so then what, what is the difference between like them getting involved or not getting involved this time, but like maybe like a year ago when Fresh and Fit was just going around just handling like copyright strikes and DMCAs to a whole bunch of channels, but then YouTube then got involved in that regard. They are never so, so, so occasionally, if you raise enough Alpha. public pressure, YouTube will get involved, but okay. it, because, they're, because they're getting shit and they're seen as the bad guys, but they will absolutely wait until the last possible moment to get involved because they don't want to be seen as copyright mediators. Keep um, in mind This that... is something I've experienced with videos being taken down when it's clearly a false claim. They like, they're just, they, they, they don't want to get their hands dirty at all. The, no, the, nuclear, sure the nuclear horrible situation from a legal point of view is YouTube mediates, let's say somebody files a rightful DMCA claim, they are the copyright holder, and then YouTube mediates are like, actually, we don't think you are for whatever reason, and it turns out that person is. Now YouTube, who due to DMCA safe harbor provisions, doesn't have any culpability or liability, now they're on the hook potentially for yeah. uh, copyright claims, which is a nightmare scenario. Like, that's why the, remo the removal of safe harbor is the destruction of anybody that uh, has user-generated content, because now they can be held liable potentially for any copyright infringing material on the platform. Yeah. That's why they yeah. don't want to mediate it, because in the cases like Viacom, Viacom tried to legally hold them responsible for content that was on their platform, like uh, re-uploaded Spongebob episodes, right? Mm -hmm. YouTube's such a big platform, you can't expect them to be responsible for some fucking dumbass uploading Spongebob on their website, it's so big. That's why Content ID was created, to bots, to create bots to identify that content and take it down for copyright holders. But the issue with that is at the end of the line is just it's just like horrible big picture for the internet, you know. But I, I okay, hold like on. The... Let me ask you guys a question. Hold on. Let me ask you guys. A... Is if you don't think that YouTube is at fault for like the abuse that happens with their DMCA system, who is? I think they are at fault though. Like the guy who's said. getting screwed. Oh, oh, they 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 too, but hey, no, they're 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 partially at fault for again like the. Hey. The level of like information and standard for what it should take to actually file one should be increased like in insurmountably higher than where it's at right now. People can just like sit there and just do whatever the fuck they want to do and then just file it. They should at bare minimum. There should be a requirement of like things that make sense to do it. Again, I'm just going off of what I dealt with Fresh and Fit. Fresh and Fit was like give, handing out copyright shameless. strikes. Yeah, they were doing things and like even the the timestamps that they were giving were all out of order. If you just checked it, like you can clearly see like they'll say, oh, between the fifth. 15 minute mark and the two minute mark like had it backwards because they were just bro, filing bro, shit I, for, it was for like, but it just really explains bullshit. why it has to be that way because then if youtube gets involved and they're wrong then they're liable yeah no no no. Um, but, 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 but what, I'm, what not, i'm saying bro. is what i'm saying is the people themselves should there should be a under like a bare minimum standard if i'm going to file one there should be 
like information that should be filed correctly at bare minimum. But we're not even at that point. Like, I can file really, anything I want to. Hold on, wait, I mean, wait, 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 just wait, wait, real quick. There is a bare minimum. The bare minimum is that you actually sign a legal uh, an affidavit swearing well, yeah. that that is your information. So there is that's not enough though. Okay, sure. But that's the only the only way that I think this could be even reasonably handled is if like the U.S. government makes like a fucking web portal where like you go into their website, you like say, hey, this is the website where my offending content is located, like YouTube.com. This is the URL. This is like fucking my video, and then you prove to the U.S. government that you're actually that person, and then the U.S. government just sends a fucking confirmation letter to YouTube. YouTube then takes it down. That's how I think. Budhar, you may done. you may know the answer to this question. Is the identification standard provided by YouTube or by the government? I assume it's by the government. And YouTube just complies with whatever that standard is, but I don't know. I, I think the way that YouTube's DMCA stuff works is like, uh, are you talking about like when you get taken down and then you're counterclaiming? I'm just talking about like, let's say I, as a copyright abuser, okay. want to go take down a Mudahar video, okay? okay. Um, the, I, the standard is like, you need an email, you need a signed document, you need an explanation, right? Is that standard created by the US government in Congress or is that created by YouTube themselves? Like, I believe that's ad, created ad by the US government because what you're just doing on okay. YouTube is like auto-filling a fucking DMCA form and exactly. that just makes sense for them. So I think there would have to be some kind of legislation around this. Like mm -hmm. we would have to like, Fundraise, you know, twenty bajillion dollars to get this done, which nobody's Obvious. gonna fucking do. Yeah, nobody's supposed to do that. Yeah. I just think, I, 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 yeah, I don't, I don't think anybody disagrees. I just feel we like all agree. It's bullshit. Yeah, we, we all agree. It's bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. I just feel like it, there, there should be a different standard. There should be. A, a Dude, and with Jail. Fresh and Fit, and with Fresh and Fit, they were crying about getting demonetized from YouTube. Dude, they should be deplatformed considering the shit they're doing. I don't no. know it, but considering that Never they're that's, that's a much better topic. No, 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 no. no. Okay, I'm not saying okay, that. Hold on, hold on. I'm not saying that. Person Dude, I don't they're think they're trying to get other people retards. Wait, 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 wait. They're okay, trying to get deep. We need these retards. How do they make videos? They absolutely deserve it, though. There would be no sympathy. Okay, wait, wait, Larix, Larix. Let me ask you this. So when it came to Nick, is not when it came to Nick, right? I think one of you guys said you can't deplatform somebody for bad journalism or for like reporting on a story badly, even though he himself mm -hmm. came out and said, hey, this is my friend. This is not like something where I take both sides into account. I'll just believe my friend. And they were yeah. celebrating the fact that Super Mega were losing subscribers, right? But in this instance, you guys are like, no, you shouldn't deplatform them, even though they're pretty much doing the exact same thing. So it's not the exact same standard? thing. It's not the exact same thing because one of them wait, wait, is defamation, wait. which is not which is not a criminal standard. It's a civil standard, and the other one is um, in regards to copyright takedowns, which is clearly a criminal standard. Wait, wait, hold on, law. hold on. Copyright infringement isn't that, that isn't, are they civil? I don't uh, think copyright infringement is a criminal. Okay, I'm talking about ass a little bit. I'm talking about ass a little bit. Big picture, big picture. My big problem with French oh, is oh, why I This is a classic comedy. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Shut up. Okay, okay. Big, big picture problem with Fresh and Fit and why I wouldn't feel that bad if they get deplatformed is they actively pose a direct threat to the content creator ecosystem by doing things like DMCAing people falsely and abusing copyright law. Now, if Nick is not green, got deplatformed, would I feel bad for him? Probably not, considering he consistently advocates for deplatforming of other people. Would I advocate for him to be deleted off YouTube? No. Would I be okay if Fresh and Fit did? Would I, you know, laugh and, you know, spark up a Siggy for that? They yes, deserve it. They deserve it. They're trying to get other people no, deplatformed I th for No, I think that's a, I think that's, like, the wow. best fucking, like, point. It's, like, if somebody is, like, abusing, or somebody's, like, trying to get other people taken down, or is using, like, DMCAs falsely, yeah, bro, they should get the fuck off. They should get deleted I mean, off the platform. I mean, dude, fresh and times can you Fresh be wrong bitch. though because they did it like 10 times or whatever it was or it was like only it was three times that i've been preached right and then oh, uh, to stop. another person you, you, must, you must not and understand what's going on again. so how many times can no, you no, be no, wrong no 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 stop 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 they, 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 they did it to, they did it to several channels and mm -hmm. through several channels they gave multiple um copyright strikes to and they did it incorrectly everybody knew that they did no, it incorrectly. How, I'm asking, me how many times can you file a false copyright strike and be like keep your channel well, they did it at bare minimum like 25 different times. So I don't know like how often they did it, but they YouTube definitely exceeded that threshold. Consistently. You get a lot across the board. Be right fast strikes. You person. should like, we should just enact Sharia law for the people that are like committing like, this problem. It's like the platform. difference between, the main difference between Nick's and Not Green is that he made a video saying his fans should go and report Sneeko. That's one thing, you know, but at the end of the day, Fresh and Fit 
on air said that just because people were talking shit about them or defaming them, they abused the copyright yes. system to try to get their videos taken down, which is a completely separate other issue. If you have a fucking issue of copyright versus defamation, I mean, you can't use the copyright system to try to get that. If you have taken a down. copyright openly... problem, if there's a legitimate copyright issue on YouTube and you're DMCAing yes. somebody, that's okay. All right. Like if somebody's fucking stealing your shit, exactly. uploading yeah. it, delete it. But if you can't handle a bit of criticism and you're DMCAing because of that, then YouTube literally says in their fucking DMCA form that is against the rules. Dude, even, even if it's fucking where are the fucking, fucking punishments? Where's dude, the criticism? removal? Wait, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Criticism hold on. is hold on. one thing. Guys, stop, stop. Uh, they got kicked off of the YouTube partner program. Right? That was, that was, was a year later, bro. That's, yeah, that's, it was that's, a year yeah, later, but that had nothing to do with it. Okay, He's so be on what do you think? Okay, do you think do you think that that was deserved, or do you think like that was okay on YouTube's part probation. to do so? Because they didn't well, even give them an answer. Yeah, I think they should give them. Uh, they they need to give them. Don't them know what they got to give them an answer. Yeah, they, Wait, they hold do on, all the Oh, I want to say, yeah, they they need to give them an answer to why they did it. How, and I think that that right there is the most reasonable thing to do. If they believe that they don't want to give them an answer because they're trying to hide their hands and make sure, like, A, um, I don't want something to sound contradictory or anything like that, they need to give them an answer. That's fine. However, the reason why I still really don't give a fuck, because they've done multiple things that should have got them their monetization taken away anyway. They've done several things that have completely like what? disregarded... Like, what do you um, mean, think like, was everything, Wait, every, uh, every, everything from um, brandishing uh, firearm on stream, making Base? fun of Jewish, not even making fun of, like, Jewish remarks and stuff like that, um, but, being able yeah, to... Say? Say wait, say? wait, wait, okay, low, low, you're, you're attacking it from the wrong angle. Who but, well, okay, here, 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 it's too much, it's even, just stick to the DMCA shit. If they're trying to use the copyright system that, to get other that, people taken down, that's the bullet point uh, fucking argument. But that shit happened talking about things that they've done, the year, oh, the year before is with... Wait, we don't know why they got demonetized. No, no, but like, okay, 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 okay. Right okay, now. we gotta we gotta be hard edged on what is like enough to get removed from the partner program. You said brandishing I, you know, firearms. Do you think I brandishing actually, firearms is bad? Like that thing. I think if you pull, if there's you, anything if you're wrong pulling it out, no. they, they, let me be clear. They also didn't do. They had somebody else on there, so I can see why Shooting that would be a little bit. Which call? Yeah. But yeah. what I'm saying is, uh, I agree with what yeah, you said. Nick like, probably, dude. Lyrics. <laughs> Realistically. No, actually, was what's the black guy's name? It was somebody else. But lyrics, right? Like a rapist, dude. You can uh, have uh, no, guy. not even him, but that is Justin White other, or whatever other, his name other, is, right? other, Yeah, Charles, Charles White. White. That guy's literally Charles a rapist. White. No, no, not, not, not that black. But yeah, like, like, lyrics is like, doing that's what they true. did last, e last year, that alone should have got them kicked the fuck out of here. Like, just sitting here purposely, and they knew that they were abusing it. That alone should have got them the fuck out of here. Because what did they do last are, year specifically? Like, what That is the, the, um, the, the copyright. The, the DMCA. Copyright. I think, DMCA. I think, okay, yeah, that I think the main problem yeah, that, is that like, should have packed them up easily. Even, even, even if you want to go after Fresh and Fit for that, you'll never find a clip of Fresh and Fit saying, we abuse the DMCA system. Tim Pool asked them and you they will. said- You will, on Tim Pool, no, they no, literally no, said no, that. No, 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 shut the fuck up, let me say this. Let me, let me say this, they did not verbatim say I abused it. No, that's not what they said. What they said is, you that's, know, we took the legal matters, you know, we took the DMCA matters, it's all resolved now. You're never gonna hear them say, I abuse it. And so from- No, YouTube's no, this is what they said, Tom. They said, no shit. people were talking shit that? about us. They said, yeah. people were talking shit about us. So we decided to go ahead and hit them with DMCA strikes. Yes. And Tim Pool, because that's they were talking as shit. Right, wait, 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 that's, 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 but that's not that's not YouTube. YouTube is not a fucking judge. YouTube is not in a court of law. YouTube is just the platform they post to. And so I agree. I wouldn't feel bad if Fresh and Fake got even. Why do they even have a terms of service around it, Tom? I don't give a shit about the terms of what, service. What if okay? they, what if they felt like they what? were, what if they felt the like they were talking what? shit, but they legitimately felt like they were also violating copyright? What if there's somebody that yes, it could be both of them? And in the perspective. And the perspective that YouTube should just like, oh, just read their reason. They should have to provide a reason. You have to provide a reason anyway when you file a DMCA takedown request. You literally have the, to but provide the, but the a problem, reason. But that but that the reason could be a fucking lie. Like but that problem wasn't, I'm going to say the problem is that when they were handing out the reasonings, that wasn't the reasoning. The reasoning was just simply because they were, they felt as if like we were talking shit People about People were talking shit. That, that, was, that was their reasoning. They never, they never they actually said, gave like, a, 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 a reason. No, 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 no. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying YouTube gave us, we're talking about the one they filtered out when I, when we received their lawyer's information or their, whoever the, the whoever there was no lawyer shit. ever. Yeah, yeah. Whoever that, whoever that was that was sending out information, when we were sent, we received it, it was not some like, 
like, hey, between this timestamp and that timestamp, you all used no nothing but our inf No, it wasn't that. That's not what they did. Because even if they had that provided that, even if they had provided that, well, A, they couldn't because when they were sending out timestamps to some people, they had the timestamps all out of fucking order. And even in the timestamps, people, which call it, yeah, pe people weren't even, um, the, there wasn't even their film, their video in the timestamps. They were just making shit up on the fly. When you are doing that, when you are purposely abusing it, you're purposely doing it wrong. You purposely know what the fuck you're doing because they you waited on us. They wait. They waited on us to make three <laughs> videos specifically. Yeah. They had already handed out copyright strikes, and then we finally made our third one because they wanted to remove us. They were purposely doing that. You okay. got to get the fuck this, off this the platform. Game, I, I agree. You got to get the fuck world. off the platform. I agree in a perfect world, but let's look at the doomsday scenario for this, okay? Oh, uh, let's say, let's Tom. say, let's oh, say you are uploading, let's, let's say, let's say you are wrongfully uploading copyrighted content to YouTube, not like a reaction video. Let's say, for hypothetically, there's someone who's up, wrongfully uploading copyright content to YouTube. Let's say a rights holder decides to take that down, and then the person in question who's uploading it says, hey, um, this is actually my content is actually transformed as fair use. You need to put it back up, and then YouTube puts it back up because of public response. That's a Not completely different situation than he just oh, described. Let though, me bro. answer. Let me answer. Let me fucking You're answer. Let me fucking answer. Though. Shut the fuck up. Letting. You don't fucking listen. I'll You're from Chicago. You're you ethnically. the whole scenario. Dude, but the reason I'm, I'm bringing really up this Chicago. scenario is because that is the flip side of this. That's what's going to happen if YouTube just starts cracking down, and then YouTube's going to be big How big is fucked by one of these because youtube's entire copyright system is built around safe harbor oh, and undermining can I, can safe harbor something his scenario this guy's scenario was that uh was that t was that fresh and fit were you giving completely time stamps on on their uh on their complaints to youtube <laughs> Tom's scenario is people are just uploading other content Bro, if that's you not file, my scenario. It's my scenario. scenario. It's not that is not my scenario. That it's is not my like scenario. And I'm not saying it's the same. I'm saying the flip side and the ultimate ramification for YouTube, if they start cracking down on this stuff, is they're going to fuck up one case where a rights holder legally had a right to DMCA content. That's going to get taken down. They're going to get fucked for that. No, and then you, they're the going to take. Is anyone YouTube making the argument wrong? saying YouTube should come into they're in place trouble here? with that? Is that's anyone even making that argument? I, honestly, I they want I want the the smallest amount of YouTube intervention possible. Yeah, I agree. I don't think anyone's making that argument. We're just Reasonable saying there's no amount. sympathy if they get fucked. You I know, agree there's no the sympathy, day. but he's, he's yeah, saying like, they should be banned. No, I'm just saying he Tom said a whole new say that? What I'm saying. I'm not talking about no, 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 no. I am I am undeniably saying that they should have. He's undeniably They're getting banned for violating the rules, violating and doing false strikes. No fucking sympathy. No one's saying sympathy. No one's saying sympathy. He's saying if YouTube should come in lower. You saying YouTube should come in here? I'm saying I'm saying if if I'm saying the result the result of where they at right now, which I don't again, we don't know like why they got demonetized. What I'm saying is if if because Mudahar asks, what did they do? The un one undeniable thing that they did do was go completely against the term of service. No, no, no. We know that. I'm just system. asking. I'm just asking. Hey, simple, simple, simple. No, I'm. Uh, you I'm think not. YouTube should come in. Oh no, we I'm not saying YouTube. Help. I'm saying we they should, should be. YouTube. But I'm not saying YouTube. No, no. YouTube okay, is okay. Retarded now. I'm saying what they should though. Right. But YouTube in particular. And no, I just don't give a fuck about. What with they that amazing to. ending comment, we have come to the end of round two. Our votes have been in for a minute and a half, and now that was riveting. That was riveting. Turkey Tom. You've won a second time. However, you're not allowed to kick twice in a row on this show. So okay. the second place winner, our good friend Mudahar, who's mm. popping Addies right now to hold on to the end of the Why show. Congratulations. <laughs> Mudahar, the decision falls to you. You have to choose to remove one of two people. Either oh, man. Willie Mac or Lyrics. Good luck. Oh, fuck. Man, I love both these guys. Shit. Remember that what there's, a, do? Remember there's a prize sad. at the end of $500 worth of gifted subs. So whoever you remove, you're actually pulling potential money from their pockets. Feel even worse about it. Oh my, you're going to make, you're going to put me on the streets. Mm. Fuck, where's the, where's the poll at? That's Is the poll on Destiny's or on King Chat? I put it in my uh, kick chat. chat. Okay. Make both chat. Zoom call videos and you'll get viewers. Oh. Yes. Fuck, I don't want to get rid of either of them. Jesus Christ, but I guess... We're gonna have to go with. <sighs> Fuck. Dude, wow. come on, man. Dude, come on. Pull the trigger, buddy. No, don't kick lyrics, motherfucker. Oh, wow. Thanks, too, oh, Matt. Shit. I support your core case, buddy. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> we... <laughs> I'm gonna have to keep Willie Mac in this because lyrics is probably gonna Ooh, be number one. For that reason, you're fired. Wow. 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 wow.
Damn. Yeah, like, Wait, I'm out of Will Max. Before you leave, tobacco elimination. No, lyrics, no, 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 you're out. Lyrics, you're 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 out because you're you're. What? Right no, fuck it. Actually, no. Fuck that. Fuck that. Willie no Mac, you, you gotta, you gotta, Willie Mac, you gotta, you gotta head out for the night, bro. No <laughs> this is unbelievable. Oh my hey, god. Yo, what the fuck? Yo, Muda, you are one double down for Muda on your shit. podcast. I'm sabotaging it, dude. Say all the demonetizable stuff. Yeah. <laughs> We're dropping all those slurs. All right, bring it. Willie Mac. Oh, Damn, he, he didn't, didn't even. Slept. Damn, Damn he didn't even fucking shout himself out. No He's fucking mad. closing remarks. Holy shit! Damn. Everybody knows Willie Mac. That's rough. That's rough. He's got a tape video. To well, come. Willie, thank you for coming on. Anyways, guys, you know what? I want to switch gears. You know what I mean? Pause. I want to switch gears with you guys. Shout out Lavar. I have a question for you. <clears throat> if someone ruled out, who who just spoke when I was asking the question? You know the rocket like I, scene in, in the <laughs> the dictator is like pointy around it. <laughs> you had a question. Bro. Yeah. Just filled in the blank. Okay. Okay. If someone ruled out dating a person because they're trans, is that transphobic? Shut the curious. fuck up. This is retarded. That's such a I'm just curious. I'm just curious. I'm just curious. That's a fucking dumbass question. Fuck. Okay, You're the okay, commentary okay, panel okay. on you asked okay, that. Okay, wait, hold on, yeah. hold on. Shut the fuck up. It's not like you guys were just okay, being a I fucking Okay, I think it very like well could be so transphobic. So but is there anything wrong with that? Kill yourself. What do you mean? A <laughs> hot take. <laughs> a hot take king. Wow. Well, the idea is like, you don't want to exclude him. True. Bro, we're, this is not a real conversation. Dude, Matt, have you fucked please? a girl with a penis? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just that got was a, a yes. I just got another question. Okay, <laughs> fuck this. I want to know. We yeah, got a commentary, guys. Question. I got a better question. <laughs> Ready? It was like a good topic. You're afraid. You're scared. You're running. You don't want to. No, know you're being a pussy, by the way, because I wanted to build it to something else. Well, wait, hold on. Let's see. Wait, wait, no, no, wait. This is important because no, no. I don't know who's gonna be next round. Yes, no, no. Wait, hold on. No, no. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. You cut the slicker yasso shit last time. Don't do this. Because you niggas said that it's nothing wrong with it, right? If you don't want to date a trans person, it's not like, it's like not you're transphobic. not transphobic. No. Okay, let me ask you this then, right? 10 times out of 10, you own a store. You get robbed by a black person. The 11th black person that comes through the door, you send somebody <laughs> after him. He didn't do anything. You just send somebody after him. Does that make you racist or are you just, you know, recognizing Morally patterns? Justified. I'm curious. Pattern recognition. Pattern, right? man. Okay. Oh, Probability. It's, why, it's why all like Bro, a you gotta of take products are locked store. under a cage in oh, uh, certain Walmarts and certain neighborhoods, you know what I mean? Certain products get stolen and they're locked up for a reason, you know? Dude, we all know the so fucking Pythagorean theorem and shit, you know? We know we know what's up. Wait, okay, so you're not racist. It's pattern recognition 100%. You're not racist. There's nothing I didn't say wrong that, with it, but I did say but I did say there's nothing wrong with it. We need Lowe to weigh in on this. Okay, Honestly, this is like something completely, completely different from what wrong. you're actually attracted to. If I'm not attracted to someone who's trans, then me not Dude, liking I'm not you fucking a chick with a dick, okay? I'm gonna say this, this, this is, is happening. This is not because, like, I'm on my I'm on my fifth dick I fucked, and now all of a sudden I'm good with trans. It's not That's not how this works. I'm just not attracted to trans. That's it. That's it. These are such, like, bullshit questions, Karan. These are bullshit questions. No, it's not bullshit. It's not bullshit. Destiny take over. This is a terrible question. I'm not taking over. I'm not taking over. I just have a question. I'm not taking over. Okay, take over. No, no, ask the question. Ask the question. There's these fucking snakes staring on you after you ask it, by the way. Here's the question. Did two men rape that girl? Yes. Oh, no. Wow. Wait, two men, did you just say yes to that? He said yes. No! <laughs> Holy shit! No, he didn't oh, rape her butt. What? Tell, tell us. Too what mad. You give your defense. defense. Give your yeah, defense. You, you right did rape her butt. What did you do? What did you do? I mean, to you be better, honest, you too, better have an amazing you know what I mean? defense. Like, you right touched her. Honestly, like, like, just give us a comment or two. I mean, I had you, a question about Too Mad, but I was being tasteful. You know what I mean? I wasn't being a piece of shit. Anyways, Too Mad. Since bro, we just hire a hooker, bro. It's a lot easier, dude. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Mudahar. There you go. What was um Too Mad? Can I ask? What was the guy wearing at the time? Guys, Too Mad's fucking talking, but his mic is on one HP. Shut the fuck up and let him talk. Tuma, go ahead. There was a long pattern of manipulation from the beginning of the relationship where it was for sex. Okay, that's one. Mm hmm From who? You or the other party? <laughs> yeah, this is like, not good. For me, that, that did not good. sound good. You no, need to fucking talk to a lawyer cook. before you talk right oh, now. Oh, no, let, let him cook. Let him cook. He already did it on Tom's stream. Yeah, let he's definitely cooking let already. Him let him go. Yeah, Tuma, so I definitely that. pressured her, okay? Let him rape. Definitely. Yeah. And then, uh, she was very, like, she's, like, mentally ill. She has problems in her brain. 
This uh, is not making you, it better, bro. Handicap person in the deck. I didn't rape her. I had sex with handicap. There was a lot of manipulation from my handicap. Come on, what are we doing right now? I fucked the Bow Blacks because he's fucking retarded. No, but then I actually I locked her outside one time for fun, and then the next day, she sucked my balls. <laughs> too mad, too mad. Okay, okay. Get, get the lawyer, of, uh, get the lawyer. I've got a lot of people in chat Please get a lawyer, please get a lawyer. Okay, no, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. I think I can be his lawyer. Oh, too mad. There's a lot of people in okay. chat questioning. I also saw this cited in the lawsuit. Someone's asking, was she built for BBC? She was oh. built for BBC, boy. For okay, BWC. Jesus. Oh shit. Okay. All right. Well. Get from the back of the Patrick Bateman pose. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. What's this Patrick Bateman thing? Are you you're flexing in the mirror? Man. Yeah, I was flexing in the fucking mirror while I had consensual sex with her. Everyone Which does she that. she claims is not consensual. After. Mm. Did you do I, like uh? Did you do like this thing? Like that? Like that? Like, were you like? like yeah, like a motherfucking like this. Mm -hmm. Dude, I'm just like saying, buying way. hookers is a lot easier, and you'd never have this issue, bro. No, I tried. Bro. Paying, what is what is the going price tried? for hookers tried? nowadays? What's, what's oh, a going price? Whatever it is, it's less. Oh. It's less than a fucking like a rape allegation. Yeah. allegation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like two to three hundred dollars for a thirty-minute uh, in call for like an out call, like three hundred to five hundred typically in an American yeah, city. But you, you uh, can how did you fail? How did you? How did you fail, too, mad? Getting a hooker. Oh, say again. How'd you fail getting a hooker? Oh, I didn't fail. I tried it. Oh no, I've tried. It's just, it never works. Like, I never enjoy it. Like, it lasts like five seconds type shit. Are you, you consider going to the not, bar, You're not that right? quick? Five oh, seconds? I don't know. I've never met with a woman before. What do you you're do? Never you're a lawyer. Wow. So, I, why does it last so you, five So seconds? you nut with men? I, just, I, like, I put it in and I take it out. I'm like, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> do you mad? Have you fucking, like, rubbed uh, your dick raw from jerking off the wait, bars? Wait, wait, just, like, sandpaper yeah, on that shit? Yes, I have, like, scabs and shit. Wait, so really? That's bad, bro. You need to see a medical professional. So two two men fucking his two men's fucking his career up because of this girl pressuring a girl to have sex with him, and he just said you he's never launching. nutted with a girl ever in his entire life. It seems like it wasn't worth it. <laughs> it seems like it wasn't yeah, worth it. Yeah, it just seems like these allegations yeah. that you brought onto yourself are just. I lit my like, dick on fire and fuck? stuck it inside. Wait. Hmm. What? Hmm. How old was the girl? Oh, like the other Asian she, chick, Kazumi. She was several she, years old. Yeah. Did she have a driver's she, license she, or no? Wait. What? How old oh, was no. you? Oh no. She was 18. Oh, 18. Now you got birthday. in one the day of. I keep being on the dot. You got right there with 18. me. 18.0001. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> keep in mind, commentary guys, all right? If it comes out that Tim Ed was guilty, all you motherfuckers are going to be posting this exact video of the other commentary guys not saying be. anything in your own commentary oh, videos. So I will, you will, you will eyes, comment you on them. Hey, don't be shitting on him. Don't do that fucking face. This you just say shit to up. bait us and then get the fuck out, you fucking piece of shit. This isn't even your fucking show, okay? You don't even do shit for this show. You just pay this motherfucker like $10 a fucking hour to run this shit. Oh, he doesn't even have good questions. Shut the fuck He's asking up us if we should kill black people. He's asking us if we should kill black people and fuck I can already see it in my mind. Turkey Tom spends more time angry at host of internet show than too mad. Nick not green video. I spent about five Turkey fucking Tom. hours the other there night is. interviewing that's this Nick's, fucking that's fat Nick's Nick's video. Video. piece of shit motherfucker. Shit. And by the way, by the way, if he loses in court, my live stream with him where he says I pressured her into sex is definitely going to be cited in the court. And you Whoa. shouldn't let me say all that shit on there. I'm really he yes, said and it's he said it twice now. He also Man. showed us a fucking video. He showed us a fucking video voluntarily yeah. where she's like trying to have like a nice conversation and like c like confront problems. He's like, okay, but what if you got naked right now? <laughs> Wait, did it? He really So all seriousness, too mad. What? What? Like he was like basically not right now. No, what you explained today, like ten minutes ago, just right now, too mad was like you pressured a <laughs> mentally handicapped girl, right? Boblax. Boblax. Yeah. Even, like even, even though you can't come, you still decided to do that. Or fun. Yes. Just all like the You try the shits and giggles, man. You tried to do the like the yeah. fucking D twenty on the. Okay, I get it. I understand that. Just why? for the shits and giggles. Just for the shits and giggles. Too mad though. Like why? Experience. Well, I'm trying to have sex. <laughs> but you, but you <laughs> can't <laughs> not though. Get that, come, that, why is that the go-to option though? Why couldn't you have sex with like a non-mentally like handicapped person? Oh well, I, that's a good. That's uh, a good question. Okay, that's a good question. Here's Wait, a real no, question. Yeah, like, Here's a real question. Yeah, get it guys, it. guys, there's a real question. Did you think there's a consent problem with like the mentally handicapped? Like, I, you think, know, I, I didn't know I was unaware. He is mentally handicapped. Oh, you were unaware that she was mentally handicapped. 
Okay, Ooh. okay, think about it this way. Think about it this way. Me, two matter hanging out. Bo Blax is there. He's on the bed. He's hanging out. He's got his panties on, pulled okay, up. Guy. Okay, he's got a nice G-string. We take out our dicks. Yeah. Bo Blax says, I want it. Can we go for that? Bo Blax is absolutely too mentally retarded to consent to anything sexual. <laughs> so oh, answer, he's right? under the Bo Blax might that's be horrible. so retarded that if he masturbates, he's raping himself. That's how stupid Bo Blax is, <laughs> okay? <laughs> That's <laughs> terrible to say. Wait, but oh, what if Tumat didn't know that he was retarded? Yeah, like, so he said you he didn't know? know she was mentally ill. You didn't yeah, know she was retarded. Okay, okay, retard okay, okay. Retard sex. Karantos, Karantos, let me let me sweeten the deal a little bit, okay? Bo Blax is there, and he tells me I am mentally retarded, but even though I can't consent legally, I think that ethically I should be able to suck your dick. What do I say? What? Well, Ethically, wait, you know. retarded people, people can't what? legally what? consent? Wait, what? I didn't even know that. <laughs> I actually didn't That's even what, know he, that. He, I guess there was a court case. I don't know. I, I, I don't exactly know. Shout no, out to Tom. Wait, no, 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 Tom, rephrase that again, because I need to I need to hear that shit. What? <laughs> yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So, so I'm hanging out with Two Mad. We're at, we're, at a strip, <laughs> we're at a strip club in LA, okay? A girl okay. comes over, and she's a prostitute, and she says, you can grab my ass. And he, Two Mad grabs her dick. How, how at fault is he? Her like, dick. Like, yeah. Just, so we're, so we're back to trans now. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, cool. What do you mean back? He brought it up, motherfucker. Well, I'm just sweetening the deal over here, okay? I'm keeping oh, things interesting. Oh, my, 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 my that's still too mad. Fall. How do you accidentally grab cock when the ass is on like the other side of the I fucking thing? It's really it long it's and snake-like. Maybe it's long and snake-like, and it wraps around in such a way that it could be made contact they, with. When they prosecute cases like that, it it, it gets weird, you know. <laughs> no, we Jesus don't know. I don't know. know. I, have, no, I can't can't say that I ever have experience with that. that, case. that in particular case, I've never heard of it. So you got it. Man. It seems like you laid out the facts. It'll be like, well, good. you did say that I could touch your ass, but then it's like you touched his dick or whatever. The his. Wait, did you know she was mentally handicapped or not? Yes or no? No, I don't he think didn't. she was not, not not really. What, is, well, what does that mean? Like, not no. really. I, I think she just has handy. Handy. Wait, wait, wait. No, we need a yes or no. Too, we didn't need a yes like, or no. Did you know, know, know or not? Did you find out later on? Like, how did yeah. you figure this out, man? I'll say that I wasn't. I definitely wasn't focused on that. I didn't think much about like. <laughs> okay, but you had like a you had like a no no but but you had like a thirty percent fucking chance, right? Like really? you had like a thirty percent like fucking perception on that, right? Like you kind of knew. It's not like you were totally oblivious. Like yeah, the yeah, no, when, you, when she hung out at your house, did her parents drop her off? That would might be a yeah, question you asked. Them. Before she sucked your dick, was she already? She drives an Audi. She drives an Audi. That might be she a question. Right? She okay. yeah, did, yeah, did she, did she, <laughs> did she drive Audi. there? Did she drive okay, there? Or not, when she did, did when she came and drop her off, or did she drive there? When she came into your room, did she grab the Among Us plushie? Yes or no? Oh, Absolutely, man. I did worse. Okay, than that, then bro. she's fucking mentally handicapped. He picked then him you up off the school bus. Fucking got involved, like done, dude. You, you should have stayed yeah, away. I put my dick in. She, there's one particular part where I believe she describes um, she feels you hugging her from behind, and your dick yeah, was out, and she felt you hard boner. against her. Is that she confused yeah, your wow. boner with your dick being out? Oh yeah, I, that's could be what her testimony is. Her testimony is really weird. I feel um, like okay. Do you do you ever remember a time you're hugging her from the back? She's maybe not that into it, and your your penis is out over the you know like the no. waistband. No, okay. that means you got a big dick. I just want to clear that up. That's crazy. He's a big dick. Man. Yeah, true. Yeah. If she got if she got confused Wait. with her, what if he was wearing very out. thin? What if he was what if he was wearing very thin um, basketball shorts? No, it's still impressive. With no underwear. It's the same. Like, it's the same. Well, no, okay. I, feel like fucking, I feel like two men. You got some micro penises if you think that's fucking impressive. Jesus Christ, dude. I feel like no, two men. Like, I'm sorry, man. My back, 13 inches. Jesus Christ, fuck. If somebody's wearing <laughs> jeans and it feels like the the um dick is just hanging out, dude. Haven't you heard? Okay, crazy. I've seen I've seen Mudahar's Kiwi Farms page. He's got that B I C. Do not question it. Okay. Mm. Thick the pen. Yeah, the pen, I swear to God, I thought about the pen. Wait, hold on. Oh, wait. The thin cock. There's no way we about to spin would... around on this man's case. This is no way. <laughs> He's not that. I feel like, I feel like too mad. You just like fucking dug yourself another yeah, hole. Uh, like, another hole. With I'm your a... Because we literally asked you. It's like, okay, did you uh, know that this woman had mental issues? Did you manipulate? The manipulation was enough. The mental issues was like the fucking cherry on the. What if I have mental issues? Fucked up. Yeah. Do you feel really guilty, too much? Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. Wait, hold on. No, no, wait. Really what if too mad is also it? like mentally handicapped? No, uh, honestly. What mental? Man, what like... mental handicaps do you believe you have, too mad? <laughs> no, just not normal. That's it. I feel like we've been on this question. Are we for trying a long to make time, it? A, uh, I'm not even exactly sure what the question is. To be honest, I don't know what the question is either. 
I'm curious as to why he's no, like, wait, I thought you guys wanted to no, wait, 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 hold on. I, I remember some fucking oh, dick oh, saying, wow. Destiny, take over. Oh, Destiny, wow. take over. She you got the question. I, I don't remember I the person, though. I you don't even fucking know why. the question, dude. This is your job. This is your one I'm pretty job. Sure I know the he asked two men. Wait, wait, he said, wait, wait, hey, shut the fuck up, ugly ass motherfucker. He said two men. Did you, <laughs> did you rape the girl? You That's won't even show your face. You're so fucked up looking. You probably got half your face blown off. Now you know. Let's say you're gay. You want to see another man that bad? Nigga, what the fuck? I'll DM you. Holy shit. N word. No, no fucking is he black? Are you 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 black? Are I'm not Middle hey, Eastern. I can't say that, bro. Yeah. I don't. I don't care, bro. I don't think you're a Nazi. I'm not, I'm not Middle Eastern. I'm straight from Gujarat. You know what I mean? I'm Indian. 100. What the fuck is that, bro? My really? condolences, bro. Yeah. I'm Gujarat. kidding. I'm not fucking Indian. First of all, I'm African, so honestly, I get first dibs on the N word. I'm like one of the ones who didn't get a, uh, get on the boat. But guys, I since you guys don't want to engage, see. Like, isn't that like proof of mental handicapness? What the fuck do you mean, two men? You live in the White House. You, you just said House. that randomly. And by the way, I, I just want to say something. No glazing, no dick sucking, but shame on all you bitch ass niggas starting with Turkey Tom and ending with Turkey Tom. Because I swear to God, if this court case goes against two men, he'll be the first nigga sitting there like, I just couldn't stand this nigga. This <laughs> nigga is terrible. But you niggas sit here and try to farm the fuck out of him, you shameless rats. Honestly, I just gotta learn the game. Maybe that's why you guys have a lot of subs. Anyways, uh, listen, too mad, free you. Unless you're guilty, then, you know, stay locked up. Anyways, <clears throat> let me ask you a little question, guys. And I'm curious about your take here. Since you guys don't believe that, none of you want to hold YouTube accountable because you guys are like, listen, YouTube is variable. They accept certain things or they act on certain things. They don't act on other things. And it is what it is. You just got to live with it. You said with the DMCA system, oh, there are certain cases that they handle it this way. But when there's an identical case with somebody else, they leave it. Speaking of that, somebody else, Speed accidentally flashed his package, you know what I mean, on his YouTube stream the other day. YouTube decided to not ban him after his effort to remove the stream from the platform. Do you yeah. think that YouTube plays favorites like Twitch does? Or did they actually consider his intent in their decision? No shit, you know, every platform plays favorites. If, okay, you're, if, you're, if, you have more if you have more subscribers, you're always going to have more uh, benefits from any standpoint. Same thing with Hollywood celebrities, you could get away with more, whether it be law. You're above the law in a sense if you have a lot of subscribers. I agree, but platforms. I think realistically, let's say Speed stood up like this and then just flopped his dick out and was waving it around. He okay, no shit, that, there's right? exceptions for the, uh, to okay, the but rule. This is, but, this is, I mean? but this is what I'm saying, the exception if a, in if this I case. Made the, if I made <laughs> the mistake of sh showing my fucking cock on stream, I would not get any passes. I would get fucked. I don't think he would have been banned. I think if you just delete the VOD, you'd be good. Honestly. I mean, like, he clearly, like, jumped up, showed up for, like, half a second, and was like, oh, fuck, freak Yeah, he was, it was an yeah. accident. Yeah, well, it wasn't like, like he was like, the general. Yeah. The general argument is if, he, since he, uh, he has more subscribers, does he get more benefits if he makes a mistake, you know what I mean? Does, and yeah. that's undoubtedly He definitely true. gets more business. Probably. Probably. That's undoubtedly Wait, true. you think so? Didn't he get, like, didn't he get, didn't he get the strike, and he couldn't, like, he got two strikes, and he couldn't stream for, like, a while. That doesn't mean yeah, it doesn't mean that you're it doesn't mean that you're god, but you definitely still have be he better have benefits. He got punished or, a little bit, yeah. right? Though he's still, yeah. they did punish him. Like, yeah, they moderately. definitely punished him. Oh yeah, they Might definitely. Punished I feel him. like I feel I mean, like YouTube, and I could be off base here. I feel like YouTube and Twitch, as far as like playing favorites, like YouTube's way better. YouTube's way, you know, of course, not like that. YouTube's yeah. more faceless, which makes it better for I guess like undoubtedly. People. I mean, it's a I lot of big questions. Just I don't know. I don't know if that's better or worse. Like Twitch, it, it might be annoying to see some people play favorites, but sometimes I feel like YouTube should play more favorites, right? Like I think it's a little bit crazy when people like Linus Tech Tips have to go to Twitter to get like YouTube support. That's pretty wild in my opinion. But how does he not have a rep? How does he not have like a YouTube rep or someone to talk? They might to have reps now, but like in the past, don't you have like YouTubers with like 20 million subs going on Twitter being like, guys, we need to complain about yeah, this? And it's that's like, true. yeah, that's well, pretty, I always ask myself that's like, wild. why are they? Yeah, why are they going to Twitter? Why aren't they asking their rep? Is like what I always think. So I guess like maybe not playing favorites, but having a better like support team, hiring more infrastructure for that would be really the ideal situation. Well, they already have that. Yeah, I mean, but it's not yeah, very they're good. They're all though. in like Bangladesh though, so they don't really fucking mm. give a fuck. Yeah, dude. Inherently, Luda, why don't you just fucking help us out, bro? Give me their number when they fuck my shit up, bro. Just like. <laughs> You know, Inherently, not a in racial any community, thing. if you're going to be bigger, you're going to have more connections and people. you're going to be on more people's radar. So, of course, you're going to be the first come, first serve if you're bigger than a 50 sub Andy, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. especially, yeah, you definitely need to be bigger. To come and I don't even think that's morally bad. I think that's probably how it should go. You know, like speed should get a response from YouTube faster than me if I get fucked. That's probably how it should go. Because he's bigger than you. 
Yeah. His dick is. Well, is he, is he bigger sense. than you? It just makes sense. You know what I mean? Is he bigger than you, though? Kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. I got a question for you guys. Just random, right? The guy who shows his fucking butthole, his balls, you know that guy, right? Yeah. Like, no. Who's had his clips man, yo, man, yo, yo, we just do questions that you're people... asking. Oh, no, 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 yeah, Two I had to clean my like ass. No, no, no. He had he issue. Did you get turned on? That's what he's asking. Did you get yeah. turned on? A two man answer for me. I'd like, listen, listen. No don't worry about if I got Bro, turned on. Bro, you can't listen, be don't worry walking about about deflecting. On, deflecting. No, deflecting. Wow. no, stop, stop. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> okay, hold on. Toronto's this ain't about to be me. This is about you, nigga. Toronto okay? wants to be like, like the guy who's ass. Us, realistically, realistically, his entertainment value is way lower than everyone else in this call. And as a result, he's being sucked down to the bottom, okay? Can we vote this motherfucker off and I'll be the fucking yeah, yeah, Vito. Yeah, I don't yeah, have yeah, any money. Brother, brother, go put a shirt on, nigga. You got small arms, buddy, okay? Number one, number two. Somebody said you like hairy assholes. Who said that? Lo, you keep saying a lot of sus, some that gay ass shit. I listen. I'm look, saying such well, shit. You keep presenting like this. You live in Atlanta. You live in Atlanta. Now I gotta. The last two, gotta, the last two topics brought up Toronto's, by you, Corontos, was about yes. another man's balls and then hairy ass. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Like you keep bringing <laughs> up these conversations. Hey, 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 you can, center, man. Man. can you it's answer the question? Hot. Did you like it or not, man? God damn. No, I didn't. I no, I even if he says he doesn't. Oh, I watched man. it a couple of times, but it was for educational purposes. This don't mean I that's liked it. Fucking I gay. Like... So you watch, um, you, you clean your ass. So, so that's why that video isn't you're taken down, because you learned something from that video. <laughs> exactly. You weren't turned on. You learned how to clean your ass. I think we can all learn fucking, a little bit. Yeah, okay? In exactly. the words of Tariq Nasheed, wash your ass. Okay? Wash Fuck, your bro. Ass. Exactly. You guys generally think... Okay, wait, wait, stop, stop. Let's get serious. First of all, none of you guys have a clean yes, ass. You let's probably get wipe your ass, you dirty, filthy American. Let's get American. serious. Just you bring up some guy for shaving his butt. You probably don't let's even wash serious. your ass. You know, yeah, you're fucking disgusting. Especially well, you dirty that shit. I got you a bidet, like dude. Like it washes my Shut ass up. for me, bro. <laughs> Okay, wait, Muda, at all. Muda, Muda, I know you got the fucking minimum, at least you grew up with the bucket, you know what I mean? So, like, I get that. But with all the these bucket, other niggas, I don't know. I live in the first world. I had the bidet, dude. Shit's automated. Shit wow, targets dude. your ass with IR lasers, dude, bro. You're good, question, dude. dude. <laughs> yeah, what Wait, is, is it the one that shoots up your ass or something? I mean, the question yeah, was, dude. should that content be allowed on YouTube? Because again, there was a woman that got banned for breastfeeding her child, but then they called it child porn. Wait, 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 wait. Are you asking us if someone should be able to spread their ass? Having another uh, on real quick um, vote to she should be allowed. Is that we, the question? We put another poll. Yeah, in chat. I'm asking you. Should Voting you fucking just show your goddamn uh, asshole on YouTube, regardless of whether it's I think you should be allowed to. Or I think I think yeah. if I'm making if I'm making a comedic video and my butthole is really funny because it looks fucked up, I think I should be able to show that to the world. Okay. Augers, show us, Tom. Show us, you little freak. I'd like to I willingly to sacrifice know. myself for this last round. This is the worst question on the yeah, you should be allowed to show your Bro, ass. Bro, shut the fuck up. Listen, it's been a while since I've had a fucking rat that bitched about the questions. Lyrics, you got right that YouTube fucking asshole. bum bitch. Shut the fuck up, you got them bottom feeding goddamn cockroach. You're asking Listen, the question. You don't like the have question. You, seen another man's hold on, hold on. Ass. you don't the like the question. Is... First of all, first of all, it's not. Have you seen another man's asshole? The fucking guy's you video asked. has 15 million plus fucking views. At this point, I'd be surprised if nobody, like, if none of you niggas have seen it. Which low? Oh, it's it an educational it. video. It's You're educational, not bro. To get okay. That's it. it Everyone matter. The breastfeeding one was educational too, and she fucking got put in prison for. Well, 10 then years. you know what? That video shouldn't be taken down. She should, she should, she should be That's an egregious error too. And by the way. Way, kids aren't watching that asshole video because it's age restricted. So YouTube's at least told us that you have to be Bro, over the age uh, of 18. Kids are the fucking age restriction. What, what, what is Muda Muda you about this? Purpose. What's two meds take? What does two men think about this? Nobody lies about their age. Look at the asshole. You're over the age. Bro, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Lots of people lie <laughs> about their age. Show your YouTube asshole. putting it up there. I'm I didn't know the age of the asshole. asshole. Can I truly be blamed for gazing into the eye of Sauron? Speaking of the eye of Sauron, we have two mad as the winner. Of the last round, congratulations, oh, Tumad. Oh, oh, my fucking rape. Congratulations, <laughs> and now Tumad, you get to decide who is innocent and who is convicted to be exiled from the show. And you have to choose between Branding, uh, Buckingham, and Lyrics. Yeah, I'm gonna sacrifice myself. I gotta fuck? go. So I'm gonna, Brandon. I'm gonna do that for you, Tumad. Bye, bye, man. But I appreciate you guys having me. Wait, on. wait, Lyrics was on the chopping block, and you wanna sacrifice yourself? Holy fuck! I, I like Lyrics. What the go. fuck?
Yeah, I gotta go. But I appreciate He's sexually attractive. <laughs> so I have, have to say doing? you're not a twink, Brandon. Ew, okay, damn. genius. Holy fuck. Ew. First of all, let's see 15 minutes. <laughs> 15 minutes, okay? 15. I know minutes. you don't listen to me when I tell you. Yeah, 15. Because we're down to four, right? Do I know mm. how to count? Is it four? It's four, right? Yeah, from. No, it's. Yeah. Five. No, four. Five. Five. Yeah. No, five. <laughs> It's five. Oh, fuck. This is a shit, fucking... dude. This is a shit show. Dude, I don't know. We've been it's... talking about fucking it's cock and asshole. We've been talking about cock and asshole and balls right now. Bro, oh. bro. He doesn't stutter once when he talks about cock and asshole. But he stutters now. Okay, okay, okay. Let me call question? out. Let me call out the hypocrisy dude, a little it's bit. It's keep or kick, not suck or fuck. Okay. Yeah, first of all, it is kick or keep. So we talk about any and everything. Okay, we're not like some fucking highbrow show. This ain't flagrant. Okay, we're more like the fucking other niggas. Shout out Nell. By the way, Lo, weren't you the guy when Sneeko broke his whole cuck story on your fucking playback podcast? He talked about fucking seeing another man's dick, blah, 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 and you loved that story. You're like, oh, please tell me more. You stood there. Oh, you laid next to him, but we talk about dick for five minutes, and you're like, oh, this shit too gay for me, man. I don't want to talk about it. Brother, I said it was too nothing bad. Wrong. I just want diversity instead of dick and butthole. That's it. I just yeah, there was diversity. diversity. Dick and ass, right, nigga. Right, we went front and back. Oh, fuck. okay. All right. So are you going to go back to it, though? Topics. Are you going to double back nope. on it? Yeah. Honestly, if yep. your girl yeah, thinks he's in the booty hole, he wants to. He's a gay. He wants he's a gay. To. Let me ask you. I, I, I'll ask you. I'm going to go into it. Don't, listen, yeah, go, go okay, into okay, it. Okay, right. okay, It's a cock Okay, point. okay. Go if your girl it. sticks a finger in your booty when she's giving you the slurp, slurp, you know what I mean? Is it gay? I'm it's curious. Not, okay, I have, a, I have a very, very, very no, bro, because it's a fucking girl doing it. It's a girl, you. but I've actually thought about it and I okay. wanted to try a little bit of, you know, anal play. But I And I need somebody to ask. Anal play. Anal play. Okay. It is with that. It's literally with that. Anal. I think anal. that like, the butthole is un the butthole is undoubtedly the doorway right to now. homosexuality, as is any anal sex. And so, I think if you're engaging in that, you're getting dangerously I'm close. Gay. Okay, you're getting dangerously close. You're you're. I think you're 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 bordering on homosexual. Because if you think about it this way, the pussy, mm -hmm. okay, and the boobs are the parts of the are the parts of the girl that the guy doesn't have, have. Okay, if you're Destiny entering the, the butthole, most go be with a fucking man. Okay, because <laughs> the man's probably gonna have a tighter butthole than her, frankly. Gay. So just no, go I'm to not, the guy. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not talking about me fucking her in the ass. Like he just asked if, if, if she's sucking my is dick. Being no, too, you just no, go get a guy. Like, go get a guy, yours. bro. Go yeah, get a guy. Yeah, yeah, doesn't say yeah. I'm not like uh. You can do your fucking house phone. You 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 you're still you're still attractive. You're still attractive. You're attracted to women, so you want a woman to suck your dick. If you're attracted like, to this something is the entering your butt, you are gay. You are gay. I'm not saying you're attracted Wait, to you. it. You're not attracted to it. You just you're wondering. You're curious. Come on, dog. Dude, that okay. makes Dude, you gay. Really 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 Let's fucking get this. Let's fucking get this. Let's fucking get this. Listen to me. I have the most nuanced take on this that none of you have fucking thought about. Okay, you can be curious about a lot of things. When I drive by the homeless camp every day, I think about driving my car through it, but I don't. Okay, because I would go to fucking jail. And frankly, think about that. Because <laughs> he's gay. I mean, I, mean, I do. I have intrusive thoughts. Okay, I have it. I can't help it. I'm just. You're just gay. Okay, no, sometimes sometimes those, they make you make no, 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 And frankly, and frankly, there's a difference though, because I haven't done that. And when I do that, mm. I will be convicted of murder. Okay? And if you let something enter your butt, the second well. something actually enters and goes beyond thought and goes you're to action, you're gay. Oh, no, you're gay. I mean, yeah, you're I mean, full You'll be bisexual. Bare minimum you bisexual. Love women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you just flip to being gay because like it's just I think I think I think the concern I think the concern of me going to jail for murder and me being bisexual are such on different ends of the spectrum that I'm okay with being gay bisexual. Being gay worse, nigga. What the fuck are you doing, oh, man? Number one. Okay, Number okay, okay. two. Wait, hold on. Let me hold get into on, it. You keep on, trying to go. On. Guys, I was joking. Sponsors, please. Okay, we want more than one sponsor in fucking two months. Anyways, let me ask you this, Low. You're like, if a girl does it, it's not gay. So what if a girl like just puts on a strap on and just like takes you from the back like bah! like just that's, not gay. that's rape you. that's rape dude that's worse <laughs> than what two mad okay. do you do Wait, you want do you want the strap on innocent. like is that what you think of do you want the no strap but it, on, like dude? what's the difference between a finger and a strap on like other than what's the difference between a finger and a strap on there's a, there's a fucking size difference <laughs> yes. a pretty yeah, big one. yeah I said other than yeah. the size you fucking idiot I mean you can argue pretty big difference though. You can argue game. about the size difference, but like, if you've killed one guy versus ten, like, you're still going away. You know, like, I don't True. know. I don't really give a shit. You take I don't really a give a shit. Like, once the you same. open that door, you're officially through it. Okay, whether it's one inch, mm, it's whether it's your little point. pinky, okay, or whether it's fucking Tyrone Magnus, okay. Either way, Tyrone Magnus. Tyrone Magnus is crazy. <laughs> 
Wait, Muda, you don't think it's gay at all, right? Like, if your girl just, like, plays with your booty? Dude, I don't... Like, dude, <laughs> yeah, I don't really care, bro. She she wants to... First off, conversation I, I don't... I don't think it's... I, I would never be okay with that, okay? I don't want to be like... I don't want my fucking ass to be penetrated. I think that's... That's a weird feeling, all right? What about, really what, about what about licked? What about licked? Oh, ooh, you freaky ass care, nigga. Bro, Keep just, talking, dude, bro. Bro, listen, I'm like probably the most <laughs> vanilla man in sex. I don't really fucking care, okay? I fuck 15, 20 minutes. I'm out for the night. It's done, dude, okay? I don't think about fucking minutes. pinkies in the I'm ass. Like, I just bro, don't care about minutes? any of that shit, all right? Yeah, 20 minutes, bro. I'm in and out. Like a fucking Navy SEAL, and then I'm in bed, and I got whoa, shit to whoa. do. <laughs> two men's got you beat. Two men's got me beat by like 19 hours. minutes and 55 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? All right, Q, let's get a better you question. You have another question? Like, come on, yeah. man. Okay, first of all, Lyrics, dickhead. If you can't have fun, I recommend you shut the fuck up. Low, you a freaky ass nigga, by the way. Like this nigga, like, I, never, I never said I did it. Asshole. I just, I've thought about it. I never said I did it. I thought about it. Bro, we but have did spent. You you do it honestly, we have spent honestly, thirty well, minutes talking about pinkies and asses. With that's what I'm flips. saying. <laughs> I think no, that I'm, if we had said it's not gay, you would have been like, "Well, that's good," because last night I let my girl stick her whole fucking oh, hand up my ass. Trust me, my, was, your oh, your opinion up. about my okay. asshole, I don't care. I'm gonna do whatever I want to do with it, man. Your opinion doesn't really. He's gonna, gonna do whatever he wants with his asshole. This nigga said, "I'll be, I'll be gay and I'll be proud, and it don't matter what you say." I mean, I just I'm asking because I don't know if any of you all have tried that, so that's why I'm asking, like, how does like what is Hell the fuck now? Fucking game. The fuck. Two men's tried it. Okay, let me ask you guys something else. And lyrics, you could jump in. You fucking intellectual fucking mole rat. Okay. <clears throat> when <laughs> reporting on other rocks. creators. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't say that. That's Islamophobic. Okay. Yeah, I say that and I work with Lil Steve. Okay. When reporting on other creators' drama, should you be held to the same standard as regular journalists? I'm curious, what's your opinion on this? You know what, everybody, shut the fuck up, please. With all due respect, I want lyrics to take the floor. Go ahead. What's your opinion on this? My um, good sir? Journalists has honestly become really a weird profession the past few years. I mean, anyone, it seems like, can just write, like, an article about whatever the fuck, and they don't seemingly have to fact check much unless they're working for some, like, big, big pork corporation. So, I mean, I think so. But even if we take it to the ultimate extreme where journalists have to fact check everything, I think they... It's probably good if you're reporting on a situation. I mean, this is an ideal world. It's probably good if you're going uh, to give both sides, to give facts and evidence, to give sources and whatnot like that. Is it ever going to happen? No, it's a pipe dream. But in a perfect world, I mean, that's good. You know, that's what we should strive for. I feel like if you're reporting on anything, you should strive to get accurate facts and reporting. That should just be a given. Like, even if you're a fucking journalist of the New York Times or you're a fucking Jim Bob with a YouTube channel, you should just try to get facts. That's it. That's There's like, no views. Yeah, but what do you mean by they should be held accountable? Like, does that imply consequences? Yeah, well, like, he, like are we going to get, like, civilly charged? But he, 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 said, like, he said held to journalistic. Like, I, I don't even think... Like, what is like being he held said, to journal journalistic? I, I agree. No I'm about to say, because... Yeah. Exactly. Even they're not held to it. So, like, I am trying to not be, like, too technical and nitpicky. Technically, yes, like we should be held because we are still we, ha we hold some level of power and influence like, over I, what's like, happening to people. Like potentially, I think it depends. I job. feel like, like I don't know. I feel like, from my perspective, and this is something like defamation law also reflects, which is that like intent does matter. So like, if you knowingly defame someone on purpose, and like that can be proven, then that's to me mm -hmm. different than falsely reporting facts. The consequences can still be the same, and there should be consequences. But I think, in my mind, okay, intent does matter maybe that's a little i don't know pussy-ish but For i think sure. it matters yeah but you even of, okay. you'll always just have a lot of retards who think they're presenting the facts but they'll never actually do it so it's gonna be so hard to implement you know what i mean yeah i mean unfortunately youtube and journalists are probably just as bad on equal terms so yeah <laughs> it sucks mm, okay it you, oh wait hold on turkey turkey you said that intent matters so if somebody is purposefully not trying at all to like give you the facts, give you the story as it is with all the details provi provided, right? You think that person should at least face some sort of consequences, whether it be like fucking, you know, losing their channel. Because again, you guys, I keep going back to it. You guys don't think that Nick should lose his channel, but fuck Fresh I... and Fit because they reported a couple of people. I, no, because okay, Fresh okay. and Fit broke DMCA Carantos, rules on you YouTube. are you are intentionally downplaying the severity yeah. of what Fresh and Fit did. They intentionally abused the copyright system 
which is a legal matter, which by the way, copyright is like the fabric that holds our content together. None of us are fucking making like mm -hmm. films where they're all our own production. We're talking about stuff that other people do. And so when Fresh and Fit abuse the copyright system, they attack the very fabric that holds the internet and what we do as content creators no. together. And I think that is, I don't know that it's demonstrably worse, but it's definitely worse to me than what Nick is not green did. Nick is not green at the very least thinks he's doing the right thing. Fresh and Fit, I think know they're doing something they wrong. Know. Yeah, they know, and yeah, they're doing Fresh it. And fit are of, violating doing an it out actual of legal. Yeah, they're violating. And even outside of that, and even right. outside of that, Carantos, um, once again, I wouldn't cry if Fresh and Fit got deplatformed, but I would shy away from encouraging any YouTube involvement. I just, I really don't want that precedent. Right. Um, except for like people who are grooming kids on the platform, that would be one. There's probably a few other, you know, examples. Like yeah, if you're, that's like if you're what murdering you're people on video, Christchurch style. You should be banned for that, yeah. but otherwise... Yeah, Carantos, as you could, as you said, if you can prove that somehow they're, like, going out of their way to try to defame someone or doesn't give a fuck, like Nick is not green saying he doesn't give a fuck about finding the facts to the situation here, um, I think it would just be much more of a consequence for we to try to get YouTube to come in. It should be more of a matter of the two parties at play, where if someone really I thinks mean, they're getting to defamed, make that, that's probably to, the best yeah. system that we could have. To make that even work, it's like, what are you gonna add like a fucking group of fact checkers on YouTube that's make sure that every allegation is It'll never be honest? consistent. Next, yeah. yeah, exactly. Well, that's, like, that's the real I problem. I mean, Twitter yeah. has community guidelines, right? Or like community notes or some shit Everybody. like that, right? Oh, the yeah. community yeah, notes. Yeah, yeah. Community, I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure no half the time yeah. the community notes are fucking wrong, okay? Because everyone on Twitter doesn't fucking know anything. So I don't, I, don't, I, I don't really want that either. And if YouTube implements the system, once again, it's gonna be outsourced to Mudahar's cousin and they're not gonna know how to speak English and they're gonna fuck it up, okay? Hey, that's hey, a, that's that's the, that's the, what the fuck? Yeah, that's I'm the, sorry. The real, you, your cousin problem. does speak English. He's a good guy. I bought a car from him. He's a good yeah, guy. I show, I I showed him guys. Duolingo. He's figuring it out, bro. <laughs> so my, so my, in my opinion, the, the much bigger problem isn't isn't that we're like having somebody else handle it. It's like specifically YouTube and like the amount of videos that they would have to like go over the type of people they had to curate to make sure this is going correctly while also being consistent. Not only is it not like very legit like realistic for them to do it like the logistics behind it also was just so astronomically high that i can't expect youtube to do it and even when yeah. youtube attempts to do it they It'll fucked up so many different times that like it's i much rather us to just kind of deal with it on our own yeah. like, get our own That's community yeah. and, and deal with it uh, so it's, it's it's a lot of yeah. it just has to do with yes. the fact that it's just youtube in and of itself not necessarily undoubtedly it is an insurmountable your, your, your butt task bodies. youtube also, like, it's fun, we it's fun to shit on youtube we are at the end of the round and we are doing oh. another vote good luck uh, Who comes up with these questions? Who does the, guy the, the, the guy that beheaded a journalist last week in the middle? Okay, we guy. need two men. We need okay, two men. school shooter, shut the fuck up! You goddamn people. I don't know why white niggas talk about beheadings and shit. Like, you know what? I'm not gonna be racist. What the I'm fuck sorry. is that face? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm coming for you, buddy. Dude, it's, like, it's, it's just like, dude, dude you look like every fucking personally. school shooter. You look like every single school shooter that ever existed. Dude, and you're talking shit ancestors. about You look like, you look like you're about to behead someone on fucking cam, dude. I think that oh if you bully a child to the point... No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go Give down Give me a child. Way. Dude, what do you mean I, you're not gonna be racist? You're dude, Matt, dick, here's bro. child. And, <laughs> no, don't. Hold on, I say two... Quiet. Dude, man, immediately the one word you noticed was child, dude. Child. No, I didn't say it. That wasn't fucking me, that was Mudar. And then question, what? question. What does it mean mad. to be a child? What exactly? Yeah, I'm too mad. Too mad. Okay, how do you nice, feel about, uh, nice. Well, let's talk about that. Too mad. How do you feel yeah, about Columbine? Mad. Okay, big picture. Uh, I feel like Columbine was definitely your doing. I, I think you're an asshole for that, bro. Why did you do that? Dude, I just dude. feel like. Look, I just messaged. Mm -hmm. I just messaged Eric, and like, I was like, "Yo, what's up?" And he was like, "I'm playing Doom, and I get on next week. Fucking thirteen kids are dead. It's not my fucking fault, bro." Well, you shouldn't have went Doom. there with him with the fucking Tech Nine. Dude, I was. He said he was gonna do shooting practice after students. school, not at school. Twelve. Not you shot at, twelve not at kids. Okay, one of them. What's wrong you, with you? Two of them were them. Two of them were them. Okay, motherfucker. Don't do any of that. Just, just kill twelve. Not Dude, I thought people. it was gonna be after school. Okay, I didn't know it was gonna be on school grounds. Okay, so your fucking homework. Did take it, the dog didn't we did eat put that it, shit. We in front of we did put it in the. You? We, okay, no. We did put it in the locker, but I just thought we were going to take it out after school, like, no one fucking know. bomb and it didn't work, dude. There's, like, inf there's GPT, man. Okay, I like, was not responsible that. for that. That was you. I know that, that you designed you. that specifically. Hold on. Two men, would you schematics. fuck a trans girl? <laughs> would you fuck Google. a trans girl, two men? That nice one, Lyrics. If I asked that, I'd be like, I oh, my God, these questions. Day. Shut up, bitch. All right. <laughs> hey, listen up, listen up. Exciting times, <laughs> exciting times. We do indeed have a round winner. And it is Turkey Tom. Did you Whoa! vote to kick somebody last time? I don't think you did, right? Wasn't it? 
Um, not last oh, time. No. No. Okay. Not last time. It was Muda. Turkey Tom, you need to choose between lyrics oh, and low. Oh, wow. um, White versus black crime. <laughs> you, better, you better tread lightly. Listen, really? I've been accused of being guy. racist in the past. I've been accused of being racist me. in the past, and as much as I want to, as much as I, as much as I, I don't want to validate that. I think I'm gonna have to go with um, the Aryan guy because they lost the war. I think they're gonna have to lose kick or keep as well. So it's been nice having you, buddy. Take care. Yep. All right. Appreciate you guys having me. Have a good. <laughs> have a good one. Wait, Too shut mad. yourself I support your court case. Larix on YouTube. Too mad. You're guilty. No, I'm not. Fuck up. Oh, wait, he what? waited till the end to say that. You yeah, fucking right? pussy. That's crazy. Back. That's crazy. Oh, oh, yes. oh my god, god you spineless yes. rat. Holy shit. Two men. The final the five. Way, I, Holy. Actually, final four. The final yeah, four. Dude. Yo. Nice counter, guys. I'm yeah, by the way, this is round one. What the fuck? How did I get this? This round is double elimination, by the way. This round is double elimination. It is so two people will go home with zero. By the making way, making up rules on the fly is crazy. It, I'm not making up. Low, why you on my dick, nigga? Why you on my dick? Saying, I, I, I just, why you on my dick? Bro, 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 this has bro, been done for the past let him go. Episode. He's gonna talk about coming on faces soon. Let's go. <laughs> but yeah, but I'm interested. Uh, do you guys eat pineapples before you? Actually, I'm not gonna get into it. Am I the only version? The answer to the question is yes, though. Actually, I have pineapples downstairs, so yes, I do do that. Oh I shit! Know. Wait, so you plan? Wait, why am I asking that? That's disrespectful. My bad. I was going to ask, like, do you plan on just, like, busting inside her mouth or something? I don't know. I've always found it weird. I don't want to talk about this too much. But <laughs> the idea not. that... Of course not. Of course not. No, 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 no but course. It, I'm just yeah, saying the idea that a woman... Not too, too long, yeah. Like, come uh -huh. on. The idea of a woman getting on her knees and just eating your fucking... Like your sweaty, nasty balls, even though you washed it, this is pretty fucking disgusting. Yo, that's so, a yeah, pretty just, wrong fucking... topic to talk about, dude. dude what, what, what does Borat call I'm, it? He's like, I'm, he's I'm, like, I'm, he's like I'm, that gypsy eat my gram. That's what he calls it. I think that's a good way to put it. Okay, Turkey Tom, you, listen, it's another language, so you, like you want to start putting in everything, you fucking idiot. Okay, um, he's fucking I have a question for you, Kazakhstan, Wait, bro. Black. You know that's how they. Who's from today? Kazakhstan? I'm Bulgarian. I'm Bulgarian, so I think I have a right to make no, fun of people from that region. You look Bulgarian, buddy. Wait, you're black. You're delusional. Too, so you're both. Oh, wow. Who's black? Archie Tom. Yeah, this nigga is freezing like he's Aiden. Speaking of Aiden Ross, <laughs> um, does Aiden Ross's boundary pushing content and willingness to embrace controversial figures such as Charleston White, which by the way, I am fucking impressed that that nigga did not get the Andrew Tate treatment. Holy fucking shit. He went on Fresh and Fit and basically said we used to grape, I don't like to say the R word, white woman. You know what I mean? Shout out reparations. Hey. Um, such as Charleston White helped to connect with a younger audience and reflect the ever-evolving nature of online entertainment, or does it risk normalizing inappropriate behavior and dangerous values among his viewers? I want us to pause for a second, and I want us to acknowledge that is not his question because he wanted to ask under the dick question. You can clearly hear him reading that shit off <laughs> yeah, <dude>. word for <laughs> word. <laughs> this is not you can clearly hear him reading it off. Down. Okay, I write the questions down. Holy no, no, no. I I think oh. this. His brain was like already oh. on dick. <laughs> <laughs> I think that if there's a reasonable, reasonable suspicion oh. or a reasonable, a reasonable expectation, which is a high standard to meet, the Charleston White is gonna is gonna be raping some people from his audience, and I think that you know maybe there should be Are some action taken. What? This is an Aiden I, Ross question. Not, not you're fucking that's... projecting. Okay, no, no. It's about it's about Aiden Ross. It's about Aiden okay, Ross okay, platform. Okay, okay. No, this you? is reasonable expectation. Then would I feel that bad for Aiden Ross getting owned? No. What I think Aiden Ross should probably be owned for ahead of that is uh, his crypto scams, which he has done. Yeah, lately. milf token, all that fucking shit. Yeah, but yeah. but outside of that, like as far as the spreading ideology stuff, like. I don't really buy that. I think if someone's spreading bad ideology, you can meet it with good ideology. You can have a good conversation with them. You can yeah, convince think, the audience if, of why I, they're wrong. I also think if you're an, you know, I also think he doesn't. I think if you're an Aiden Ross viewer, you're already too far gone mentally. So it doesn't really matter what. The I don't fuck think you are, dude. I think, I think I think that a lot of Aiden Ross viewers here comes the are, white savior. Are, a lot of Aiden Ross viewers are probably like younger people who just find him really funny. They probably don't really buy into his ideology that much. Just like sure. with Sneeko, a lot of people just watch the train wreck. Are there some people mm -hmm. that are beyond the pale? Yes, but there's some people that are that, that are beyond reasoning in any situation, in any community. Not in my community. I, uh, yeah, I think that a lot of your community is very 
Uh, Mike Mayer is the that. smartest one on the internet. They the, the are. Only, the only, you right the now, the only reason relaxed. why the only reason why I don't like that that and I'm not saying you necessarily are dying on this, but that argument of like if you confront it with like more positive energy. Like I don't think Aiden doesn't do that though. So like I have no problem if like you're willing to take on more complex conversations with people or bring on more controversial people on your platform to challenge them or to give like a fair balance back and forth. But Aiden doesn't do that. He he's just That's a part true. of the he's just That's a part true. of the train wreck. That's all it is. But I also I also don't think that Aiden has a responsibility to do that i think Aiden he doesn't no no he business doesn't. of entertainment above yes. all else he doesn't really have any real ideals and so for that it's like would it be nice if he did that yeah am i expecting him to do that no yeah Aiden and is I, just and a I guy hope. that does stupid shit all the time just for the That's, sake and of as it. Far as, as far as if getting involved oh, like Tom, if, if Tom. okay okay wait no 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 you're gonna Almost. Let me fucking finish you're gonna let me fucking finish carantos you fucking shitty host nobody gives a fuck about okay, you okay i'm get muted you suck my dick i was gonna let you finish what you said that bitch you forgot that in this fucking room nigga I'm not gonna say that. I was about to be blasphemous. Anyways, let me ask you guys this. Well, Turkey Tom, continue. <laughs> okay. No, continue. Um, You're unmuted. What? I can continue now? You interrupted the whole yeah. thing to mute me, and now I can go on? Yeah, pretty Dude. much. You're the worst fucking person of all time, Destiny. Fucking. Okay, I wanted well. to ask you guys this. I wanted Get to ask BPD you guys this. bitch on. Uh, shut up. I wanted to ask you guys this much, right? You guys said that Aiden Ross does not need to be responsible with his platform. Do you actually stand by by that take? No, that's, I, that's, I, not, I, that's, I, not, that's I, not what we said. That's I, not I, what we said. No, no, no. You and Tom just said no, that. Bro, 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 bro. You're, you're playing a game of telephone by yourself. Yeah. I did you not are. say that he no doesn't need to be responsible. We're, we're, we're saying no, no, no. Muda, Muda, you didn't say yeah. it. You didn't say it. But Tom and Lo both said, oh, he doesn't need to be responsible. He doesn't need to represent both sides, blah, blah, blah. Like, his job is to entertain. Tom, you literally said that, and lo, you agreed with so, him. So, so, okay, okay, okay. But but the question is, the question is, the, qu the <laughs> question about responsibility, the question about responsibility is, who is going to hold him accountable? Do I think Kick should hold him accountable if the guy he's bringing on is actively raping members of Aiden's audience, which, from what I understand, was, was the thing that was brought up in the first place? Yes, Kick should hold him accountable. If he's Wait, not, if he's just... Wait, is that what he's doing? That's what Charles no. White is doing. Why? What the fuck is what? Tom, you, what are you, you talking fucking about? Say, you, you, you said the thing with the thing from the get go was this guy came on Aiden Ross's stream that had like raped women in the past. No, he went yeah. on Fresh and Fit podcast. He, he went on Fresh admitted. and Fit, and then he went on Aiden like recently. Yes, but okay. but he when he but these are things that he claims that he did years ago, and he justifies okay. it because they're white women. So, but so he doesn't. He's not. He, from my understanding, I don't think he's actively doing but, it. I mean, okay. Charleston okay. White so, is so a this is, this is, that he Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. If there's an expectation that he's actively engaging in crimes, and there's like some kind of proof there that he's trying to engage in that, then they should ban him. And maybe Aiden Ross, if he continually platforms him and tries to give him a voice, if he does that. Otherwise, no. All right, You're so before... inconsistent. The proof is he admitted it. What the fuck? He literally, but, it's but like it's the something that happened. He, he, could, he could just he argue claimed, us for entertainment I mean, value. I mean, like, could, I mean, I, don't I mean, know. having having somebody that's claimed to have raped people in the past is like a no no. You should just never have that person yes. on your stream. Period. Yeah, but I agree. I agree. You blood. shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. But do I mm -hmm. think that Aiden should be banned from Kick? No. And also that undermines Kick's entire business model, which is, I mean, I know they do ban well, people. What but he Kick said, is, he should be banned. You just made that up. The question is Nobody what should happen. The question is what should happen. The question is how should he no, help? No, the question is should he shouldn't content creator. No, no, no. The question is shouldn't large content creators be responsible with their platform? What yes do you mean no? be responsible? What does that mean? If he's not so going to be responsible, then someone needs to hold him responsible. They rape white women. Yeah, but okay, no. to, to, to Q, yes. Yes, people should be responsible. The, the, what I'm saying is that I don't hold Aiden Ross as a content creator in the same light of someone to challenge someone else for me to hold him accountable in those regards. I'm I'm looking at Aiden Ross as somebody who just does crazy dumb shit to just entertain. That's what he does. And that's Anchor. all he does. I do not hold him to the standard of somebody who's going to challenge somebody and sit down and have a conversation and have an honest back and forth. And so in those regards, no. But should he bring on people that have not committed crimes and done crazy things before and just label that as entertainment and then move forward with that? You know, that I think that is insane. I think that's nuts. But no one's going to hold him accountable because, again, his audience isn't right. like... They're just like kids. Like nobody, they don't really give a fuck. Probably m majority of them don't even know the things that he's done or said on other platforms. Anyway, they just turn on a stream. They see who's there. They make fun, haha, and then move on. So it's it's not even a space for him on his stream to hold someone accountable or give responsible content beyond the fact that if he just makes a decision on bringing them on or I, not, I, that's it. I agree with that. And the, and the thing about the responsibility and accountability conversation is like, okay, who's supposed to hold them accountable? 
Kick? Is that who you're asking to? Because if the audience won't hold him accountable, then Kick's the only person who could, which is why I made that fucking argument in the first place, because obviously Aiden Ross's content doesn't give a shit. Mudahar can make 100 videos shitting on Aiden Ross's audience. Aiden Ross will say, Aiden Ross's audience will say, El Muda, W Aiden, and move the fuck on. That's all they care about, Based. dude. <laughs> And then, and then also, if, if you then go down this rabbit hole of, like, I can't bring on anybody who has admitted to doing something in the past. So somebody on kick recently just got done with a um, a case of any sort of, any, any sort of kind. Are they then going to ban them because they then said Aiden brought on somebody else who did da-da-da-da-da? Like, you get down this whole rabbit hole of, like what people are allowing on platforms and i just think like again i mean we're not my talking thing my thing system. my thing with platform control is like don't have anything criminal going on okay so if somebody's going out murdering or like fucking raping people on the on video maybe ban that immediately uh, yes yes uh, fucking scams right like actual financial fraud and scams ban that right there and then mm -hmm. like tos should be very specific i think you're getting into like um, very, very, like, edge cases uh, about, like, people's content when they're pushing that, like, edgy boundary. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if, like, a platform's really capable to, to, to go down that road. I don't know who decides. Yeah. I don't, what, well, this like, is, this is one of the issues. I don't this know if really someone who claim, This is someone who claimed he did this, like, when he was a teenager. And and Char Charleston White is, like, 40, 50 years old at this point. So he's, he's referring... Like, did Charleston White actually do this, or did he just say it to be fucking insane? Like, I don't well, even know. He, we don't he's, know. That, that, that is true, know. but he's 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 said this, like, multiple times. Like, in you could front be of right. fresh and fit. You could like, be absolutely yeah. right, but do we want to hold a platform responsible for making the decision of if he's joking or not? Because I don't really trust them to make that decision, um, to make that distinction at all. And frankly, not saying Aiden Ross does this, but there is educational value in talking to people who are criminals or reform criminals. I don't think that you can excuse what this guy claims he did I if he did that. He DP on and let's talk to him then. How about that? I don't, I don't even, I don't, because he's actively doing it now though. You're, yeah, you're yeah, again. yeah. And, and also, also, and also, also like, hold on, hold on, hold on. when they did it. Come on. Don't fucking okay. interrupt. No, no, no. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, no, no, no. You're, you're saying it wrong. He's claiming that he did these things when he was a teenager, years, decades ago. That's when he said he did it. He didn't say he was like actively two weeks ago doing it. That's not what he said. He said Does when I was coming up and I was. I don't think it matters. Well, he still raped him, so I don't really. That doesn't really matter. But what I'm saying is, okay. when the differences that we're talking about is that when somebody's actively doing it, then a, a platform should come in and say, "Hey, I'm not going to allow you to have that on the stream. That's ridiculous." Or if he's going through the court case right now, where he could potentially be grooming people or talking to people on our platform to then sexually assault them, then I'm not going to have that either. But if somebody did something 30 years ago. Then are we then going to sit here and say, well, because you did something 30 years ago, then you're not going to be on our platform? Is that no? That's I have a question. Yeah, but when oh, he sits there, low, low. shut up, shut up, Q, shut up. Nobody gives a fuck what you say. Low. Oh wow. I have a question. I have a question for you. Okay, I have a question for okay. you. Okay. Okay. So let's say there's an ongoing legal case with someone, and it's unclear as to whether they are guilty. The public believes they're guilty. And I don't think the, I don't think the platform should either. No, the platform should not get involved. No, you if it's not clear. Okay. No. So okay. So here's so, so, so here's so here's the conundrum, right? It can be clear in like a literal sense, in a legal sense, it may not be clear. To us, it's <laughs> obvious EDP is a pedophile, right? Offending pedophile, wants to groom kids. I think he just got caught for it fucking again, okay? Um, but for the legal system, he's not been convicted of anything. For, for yeah, so as far reasons. as we know, he That's doesn't do anything. That's what I argued religion. when you guys fucking attacked me on this, by the way. He hasn't been charged with anything legally, so why was he taken down? And both, by the way, Tom, you included, all you guys said is... Hey, it, but he actually did it because they want to protect themselves. Right, 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 they right, don't right, want right, right, right. Okay, 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 okay. And, 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 and here's my point. Here's my point. This is a conundrum. I don't even know what the answer is here, okay? I'm not crying that EDP got banned. That's a good thing. But in future cases, let's say there's someone who gets falsely accused. They get taken to court or something for a criminal action. They get banned from YouTube in the interim, and then it turns out they're innocent. Like, is YouTube going to bring them back? How do we deal with a situation like that? I don't really know. They I don't should, know how you should, set that. I mean, I mean YouTube, YouTube has the option. It's like, if you've been banned, you can file yeah. an appeal. So if the appeal says, yeah, bro, I haven't actually fucked little kids. Can I get back onto the platform? Yeah, yeah. come on. Right, but I'm sure EDP yeah, something like that, too, and he shouldn't be allowed back, point. right? No, no, well, sure. but if, if, like, if he goes through the court process and if he's found to be innocent, well, I mean, I'm not even saying specific EDP, but if like I go, if I got banned because of a public perception, and then I go through my court case, and now mm -hmm. it's undeniably proven true that I didn't do those things, yes, I should be reinstated back on YouTube. Like, like it's also such up. a fucking specific use case. Like, if your case involves interactions with minors, of course every platform is going to remove you, bro. Yeah, like, right, that's right. them getting into danger. Like, imagine if like, okay, we can't prove EDP's like a fucking guilty guy because the legal system hasn't done it. 
Tomorrow, okay, like it turns out that, oh shit, EDP was actually interacting with miners, right? Using YouTube comment sections or leading them off platform and YouTube didn't remove the channel. Who the fuck do you think the mainstream media is going to target yeah. first? Is it well, going to be EDP say, exactly. or is so, it going to be YouTube? And then shut us all down. And so, and, it's gonna and so from that perspective, say, I think YouTube question. should ban them. You're muted, Tom. Oh. Shut the fuck up. Hey, you got bitched by another white man, nigga. White or white crime? Wait, He's Cuban, bro. Listen he ain't up. even white. Shut up, Listen up. The final poll, or the second to last poll, just finished. Mm -hmm. And we have two survivors going on to the finals. We have Ooh. Turkey Tom and Legend of Winning. Those are our two. Wow. Oh, shit. No. Wow. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, my okay. God. Nice. Oh. Hey, yo, uh, I, hey, yo, Moody, they just wanted to pack you up because you just passed me. So we're basically at the same amount of votes, but it's fine. It's fine. It's cool. It's cool, man. It's cool. I'm going to I'm gonna fucking root for both of you guys. Let's see this Thanks, race four man. go at it. Thanks, <laughs> man. Care, Black on white crime. <laughs> Take care, guys. There we go. Muda, thank you for coming on. Uh, please, shut yourself out if you'd like to. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, check me out at uh, uh, some ordinary gamers, guys. Take care. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go do some crack. Good night, guys. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Good night. Too mad. You have been eliminated as well. You want to shut yourself out? Thank you for coming on. Fuck this show. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Honestly, I don't blame him, actually. Literally, what the fuck? I had a question about, like, too mad, but I wasn't that shameless, you know what I mean? Like, I Somebody tried just to gotta go hard. Shit. I could not believe I made true. it before, man. Affirmative action is working. <laughs> actually true. <laughs> uh, Turkey Tom, legend of winning. Congratulations to both contestants. You have made it to the final round of the greatest, the biggest, the best show on kick. Kick or keep? Best show, worst producer. Let's go. Okay, dickhead. It's the best show because it's got the best producer, jackass. Number one. Number two, why are you farming chat? Why are you farming chat? I thought you were a YouTuber. Why are you doing like the streamer Dude, shit? I'm not farming, farming chat. 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 I don't even know what your chat's saying. It's not my chat. You're farming the retard chat. Uh, who knows? Wow. Little Steve, right? Over Jesus. here. Jesus. Wow. My, I can't wait, even I, see his stream, I can't talk dude. like that? Okay. By the way, Lo, you did say if you don't know me, like you don't like you didn't need to make that intro. I do know you. I do follow your basketball takes. Terrible. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, but listen, you're entitled to your takes. You know what I mean? But, guys, I want to ask you this. And it's basically since, listen, when, when we get to the end, I usually let, let you guys go back and forth, but I've dealt with enough bitching today, so I'm going to give you a question. I'll guide you guys through it. <clears throat> Fusi, you guys are aware of him, right? Fusi, too. Yeah, for sure. Recently gone super viral. Do you think, wait, hold on. Hold on. Let me read it. Perfectly for you guys. Fusi yeah, had yeah. a wild week during his subathon. Yes, I write. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. I'm not Floyd. Fusi had a wild week during his subathon. He got kicked out of his hotel, walked in the middle of a busy freeway, and swatted himself after threatening to kill a streamer that had been trolling him. Is it ethical for commentary channels to profit off of his escalating manic episode? And should Kick be platforming it? Um, do you want to go first? Actually, I want to hear, because we might actually disagree, which might make this even better. Really? Okay. Well, as a commentary channel, we actually had a conversation on Destiny Stream about this the other day. And ultimately, my take is that I don't think that I am responsible for what FooseyTube does. Um, as far as the platform themselves, they can make their own decision. I'd probably argue they shouldn't get involved. I think that's a, a difficult standard to enforce, realistically. But as far as me, I don't think I'm responsible for what FooseyTube does. Fousey's repeatedly shown himself to be at least somewhat cognitively aware of his own actions. He decides to make poor decisions anyway and live stream. He's around a bunch of people who are clearly enabling him. And as me, as someone who's not interacting, I don't think I have any kind of responsibility to not make content about it. Now, that being said, there was a guy I saw who, uh, shout out Gokunaru, who did a good clip on this. There's a guy who was like actively calling Fousey to being like, yo, I just sent your girlfriend there or whatever. Like she's, you know, hired by me, which is feeding into Fousey's delusions. Now that is horrible. That's not okay. That's not cool. That guy, you know, I don't really give a shit what happens to him, frankly, because I think that's just completely degenerate. Um, but as far as what I or a commentary channel has to do, I don't think we hold any ethical responsibility to cover or not cover Fousey. That being said, the way you cover it is important. If you're encouraging harassment, if you're encouraging people to go IRL to fuck with him, if you're calling him feeding into his delusions, that's horrible. If you're just talking about it, I don't think there's anything wrong. That's my take. So no, you you don't believe we should have any any we hold any responsibility at all. Um, I mean, undoubtedly there's a little bit of responsibility. Yeah. Do you have to act on that? No. The responsibility that everyone holds is like technically by giving it attention, you feed into it. 
but so does the rest of the world. So does everyone else. You're never going to ever yeah. want to stop. Um, and also, like, once again, Fusi wants to be famous. He loves the attention. He likes this. This is something he actively wants. Yeah. This isn't someone who's like a private person being harassed on live stream. This is someone who's a public person who enjoys the attention, who enjoys people shitting on him, who feeds into it, who calls Keemstar and tells him that uh, Keemstar made him want to kill himself, okay, on live stream. This is the kind of person we're dealing with. I don't have a lot of empathy for someone in that position. Frankly. Yeah. So yeah, let me. I don't have empathy for him either. But I think the. I think the question is like, and also platforms. I don't really care. I think it's more interesting to talk about like us as commentary channels. Okay. Um. From my from my point of view, there is obviously there is a level of responsibility that we we hold, especially when we're talking about somebody who clearly is, um, wanting attention. Like, and us feeding into that conversation is aiding him in the process of train wrecking. We all know that that's what's happening right now. Mm -hmm. And I know on playback, we've made decisions to not cover certain people because it is going to. Um, add to whatever momentum that they're going to have that then will lead to potentially some form of detriment. And I, we are on the brink of just deciding not to, re, you know, report on Fousey or say anything about Fousey moving forward because how much it escalated in the last episode. Now, this isn't like something that I'm expecting any and everybody to do, but I do feel like there is a part of me just as a human where I feel like not only monetizing off of somebody who's having a train wreck is like morally from my point of view, like a really bad thing to do. I remember we were we were recording somebody. I remember we got done with the video and I was like, I felt so bad that by the end of the video, when we kept reporting on it, it kind of like tailed off the energy and you just felt genuinely bad about the person. And in terms of Fousey, I'm not too familiar on him since his last manic episode when he's standing on the car with his shirt pulled up and he's just screaming. I don't know what he's been doing since then, but the more and more information I've learned about him, I didn't know he went in rehab. I didn't know he was, you know, self deletion thought about self-deleting and really close to doing so. I had people talk him out of it. I didn't know the amount of people that he had around him who also tried to walk him off the ledge. I didn't know how severe it was until recently. And because of how severe it is, I do believe that taking my um my platform being more responsible with it and removing it from him so he doesn't receive then on the a wave of onslaught. Now we could be a drop in the bucket of you know YouTube shenanigans that happens on going on, but I do feel kind of fucked up knowing that I am adding to what's happening. And it's very clearly he's having he's in the middle of like progressing towards I guess to me it's like episode. I agree, drop in the bucket, but if you actually want to be a force for good and you don't want to actually fit into that, I feel like you could cover it in a responsible way that actually informs people about the issue at hand, lets them know what's going on, and you're not going to just content farm him. You're not going to get people to go watch a stream and cheer on his downfall. You can make a serious video that's like, hey, this is really fucked up. This guy's going through a lot, and you could talk about the social media machine, and then you could inform your audience a little bit about your perspective. You can inform them about why it's wrong that Fousey's doing this, and you could give a good take to your audience and just let them know, like, hey, this is fucked up. And I think, would you feed into it a little bit? Yes, but the way Fousey wants people to feed into it is undoubtedly, undoubtedly from everything he's done, is by creating more drama, fueling more drama, and helping that. I think that by raising awareness yeah. for the situation, by talking about it in a responsible way, let's say you did release that video you're talking about with this person, and you mm -hmm. like you get to the end, and you're like, man, this is just sad. Fuck. You could post that, and that would probably be like a meaningful thing for viewers to see and be like, god damn, like, maybe this is kind of fucked up. The, and if you just problem, don't cover it, they're just going to watch the next guy. Yeah, but the problem with Fusi is that even because I think that is how we took the approach of the last video we did. We're like, it's kind of fucked up. Like, I hope you get better, da da da, in a more serious vein. The problem is Fousey is that he'll even use that in his advantage as well and almost leverage the idea of like, you know, mental health and now da da da. And now, like, that's just like another arc of the train wreck that he's going through that he's now utilizing that and leveraging into his favor. And all of it is just a part of something much bigger. So Fousey is like a, a very unique situation where even if you try to be serious, even if you are so, because there's like, Actual examples of people on the phone with him being serious, telling him to stop between Jadeon, Aiden Ross. I think a handful of people called him and tell him, like, yo, stop. And he even has the ability to use that as content and then use that to forward it on to something else because he knows it's just all a part of something much bigger that he doesn't mind. I don't know if he minds because then he starts to cry and I'm like, I don't know even if that's real or not. So instead of me like being involved in trying to figure out what's real, what's not, what's best for him, what's not best for him, I know for a fact removing myself completely just to detach me so much so to where... I know I'm not involved, and I think it, regardless, when it comes to Fusi, he doesn't care. He doesn't care if it's good involvement, bad involvement, yeah. if it's positive, so if you're telling him instructively, he just doesn't care. Everything will be destructive to him. I guess I'm glad that that makes you feel good, but in practice, I don't think that actually has any like demonstrable effect on the situation in, in a positive or negative way. 
I think you covering him is mostly neutral as long as you do it the right way with someone as famous as him. And as a result, I think that that's only going to like, you know, you can go to sleep at night and feel a little better about yourself, maybe because you feel like you didn't feel this. But end of the day, if you if you, let's say you're criticizing someone like Fresh and Fit, Fresh and Fit actually want to be criticized because it makes them more famous. They may DMCA people sometimes, but at the end of the day, that notoriety only helps them. Um, and you're, you're, you're only giving them more of an audience by people. Let's say someone goes and sees your video and says, oh, I actually think these fresh and fit guys are kind of fucking based. Okay. They go watch them. Ultimately, yeah. it may make you feel a little bit better. Like when you hug your teddy bear at night, you're like, oh, I didn't hurt, you know, fussy tube today. But in practice, I don't think it does much. I don't think the consequences are positive or negative. I don't think you actually help or change anything. I think it's mostly like. I don't want to say morally grandstanding because I don't think you're grandstanding. I think you genuinely feel this way, mm -hmm. but it's, it's almost like grandstanding to yourself. It's like, oh, I did a good thing, but really like you did kind of a neutral thing. It's like, it just doesn't really, it doesn't really matter, you know? But the the, the only thing that I have the biggest pushback is that it's not like Fousey 2 wasn't creating content or doing anything, you know, like five months ago or even a year yeah. ago or two years ago is the fact that like he was doing things. He was having episodes. Again, I just learned that he was self had thoughts of self deletion, dealt with um, drugs, dealing with money problems and all those things. You can go on the Internet and find him when it happened in real time while while he was going through it, him recounting a lot of those things. But because nobody was like reporting those things nobody talked about those things nobody effectively cared they all went under the radar and he went through his life in as much of a constructive way as possible because there was nothing that was pulling him away from the right. constructive progress but but the last time he had a manic episode he tried to scam a bunch of people into thinking that drake was going to show up at his event and the only reason that people knew that he wasn't going to be there is because people raised awareness if nobody had talked about that and you know quote unquote, oh well, stuff like that, that no no that yes. illusion but stuff like that but how long ago was that it was like five years ago no yeah, but like, who's to say he a, won't do something like that tomorrow? Oh, no, no. I'm, if he does that, then yes, raise awareness to that. What I'm saying is from that manic episode to where we are now, or the last month and the two, there's been several things that he's been going on through his life, but nobody really cared about it. Nobody said anything about it. And he was doing crazy things then. That's true. And the and fact probably, that nobody probably, wasn't reporting on it. And that's why part it never the got the Part of the reason nobody was reporting on Wait, it hold on, Tom, he wasn't, Tom, he wasn't meeting you. sex trafficking oh, victims at the airport and getting blowies from them in the bathroom. Shut up, nigga. I said, let me fucking ask you a question, you bitch. Holy shit, you're doing it on purpose you, right now. Okay, then stay muted while I fucking talk, you fucking retard. Actually, you're unmuted, okay? Let me ask you this, let me ask you this, right? You, you're right now claiming that, hey, Fusi's doing all of this because he likes the content, it's entertaining, it's fun. Like, he's feeling the fire. Do you really think this guy was feeling the dude that tried fucking swatting him and called his mother's house and said, hey, I'll slit your throat? You really think that Fusi was playing into that as well? Um, I mean... To a degree, it gets him more attention. Holy like if fuck he, if he, no, 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 you, you shut the fuck up. If he really wanted to avoid it, if he really wanted to live a nice private life where none of this shit happens, he would get the fuck away. And he doesn't. He's going to come right back out when he's out of the mental hospital, fire up a live stream, go fuck another girl at the airport in the bathroom that was a sex trafficking victim and was drunk at the airport. Then he's going to lie after the fact, say it didn't happen and cry on stream. That's what he's going to do. So I don't give a fuck. Okay, fuck Fousey. Too. Wait, hold on. Let me ask you this then. So if somebody is a YouTuber or a streamer, for instance, and they keep getting DDoS, right? Would you recommend them to like stop streaming if you can't fucking actually hold up your stream? And just go find another job because right now what you're pretty much saying is, hey, you know what? No, streaming is giving you a hard time. Who actively invites it. If you're a friendly little, you know, Stephen Bond, actively League of Legends streamer, where you're in? hanging out, dude, he's actively punching people you on fucking, fucking stream. He's Kobe. inviting the toxicity. And that leads he's to punching the, uh, people on fucking live stream. He's fucking these girls. He's calling Keemstar saying crazy shit. You, you actively dictate what your audience does. There are fluke incidents, okay? Do you think it's a you think it's any coincidence that people are actively trying to oh. fuck with people, what, trying to fuck with FouseyTube in particular on this issue? I've never had someone try to do that to me. I've never even been fucking swatted. FouseyTube is inviting this shit. He thrives off the attention. I don't feel fucking bad for him at all, okay? But the, but the that fact guy. that nobody was reporting on him like the last two to three years is proof that he wasn't doing. He anything, doesn't. Really. But but he didn't start this stretch right here of fucking women in airports. Everything was like it all started and it slowly grind, cr climbed to him getting to that point. And the only reason why it slowly climbed to that point is because more and more people started giving him attention, started reporting on it. And then because he didn't, it didn't like he started. Oh, yeah. First stream back fucking a bitch in the airport. That's not how that happened. Everything. Yeah, but but, but, this, but this is a pattern of behavior for him as far as like liking sex, like liking sex with hookers and stuff like that, being a sex addict. And on top of that, like 
Do you think there's any way you can stop people from giving him that attention? Even if we didn't talk about him, he'd have like, so yeah, many fucking viewers three, on stream. He just, he just went three years with nobody giving a fuck about him. Yeah, because he wasn't streaming. Yep. He wasn't doing anything. He was just chilling. He was. He was. He, he was. He was. He was, he was, he was streaming. Twitch. He was he uploading was videos. He was doing interviews. All he was still yep. around. Was he doing just crazy he, shit? Uh, I mean, he talked about how he again almost self deletion. How he went to massage parlors, getting his dick jacked off. But what all the is he time, doing crazy you know? shit on stream, like actively? No, but what I'm it? saying, I, but again, again, he, I think he only got to this point is because the lead up to where we are now. He didn't start the first. I feel stream like he's responsible crazy. for his own actions. I don't well, think he's, he's responsible. I'm not saying he's not responsible. The question is how our responsibility, how we are held accountable. I think we have what none. we did. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think we have none. Yo, let the. I see the straw pull up. Let's get this affirmative action going, man. I'm black, up. he's white. Let's get my votes in, man. I'm Chinese, motherfucker. We and do frankly, our... they didn't let me into college for the last 20 years, so... Votes coming in. in, okay? They didn't let me in college for, like, 80 years, so we're good, man. Okay, on the next episode, Kate, we're gonna aggressively mute motherfuckers, okay? Because these guys are just shameless, okay? Absolutely Agreed. shameless. Especially that, this turkey tom fuck. I want you to keep this, this motherfucking muted fuck, okay? to the end. Not only, yeah. Okay, not only should we aggressively mute him, it should be time mutes too. Like when you get muted, you're muted for like a whole like two minutes, okay? Because god damn. Absolutely. These guys are. Wait, false. Tom. Tom, what's your thoughts on this? On what? Shut the fuck up, bitch. It don't matter, <laughs> nigga. Stay fucking also, muted, you hope. I'm posting again in chat. This is our final poll to determine the winners. Good luck, guys. Our final poll to determine the winners of Keep Not. I agree Kevin. with you that he he holds his own accountability, but the question was like us as commentators, and so I don't I don't think we have zero. Or I don't think we have so little that it's. I just I just don't think I have I have any responsibility for what other people do. If you actively encourage shit, yeah, but you can't control everyone. You can't control the world. I'm not gonna sure. spend my life trying to make sure that everyone does the right thing. Like I tell my audience to do the right thing. If they don't, that's not my fucking fault. You know. Um, so also, Q, you need to get fired, okay? You need to get fucking fired, and uh, oh, wow. the Pakistani government The white man you. trying to take a black man's job. Ladies and gentlemen, nothing has changed. You're not black, bro. I don't even know that you're black, dude. You could be fucking lying. Wait, what is blackness to you? Do I need to fucking be born in the Bronx or some shit? I can't is even see your face, bro. You could be anything. You could be wearing a skin I mean, suit right now. Listen, I've said it plenty of times, okay? I am 100% African. That's I've as black it as too, it gets. And I'm fucking white, so. I don't know what the fuck you are. You look like a mistake, buddy. First of all, why is your forearm oh. much darker than the rest of the I was I was going to say that, but I was going to let it rock, man. <laughs> why, 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 like, why, like, my facial hair darker? No, your forearm. No, your, your forearm. forearm is, it's it looks like, so like you have a spray tan on right now. It, dude, it's because exactly. I, got, I got tan, motherfucker. I go outside, unlike you, who just sits in here sucking Destiny's dick all day while Melina's Damn. out hanging out with this dude. Okay? Damn. Wait, what? All right. Why are you niggas saying Let's <laughs> get up. something? Hey, we have a winner for the show. All right. Good job. You guys did great today. But actually, you know what? Legend of Winning, you did great today. Turkey Time, you talk way too much. You talked over the moderators all the time. I would dock you votes if this wasn't the last round, okay? Because you don't deserve them. All right. You've just been wow. completely unreal today. But I would like to say congratulations to Turkey Tom for being the most annoying fucking piece of shit, shit here. However, Legend of Winning, you have the better YouTube channel, but you also lost. I'm sorry, Turkey Tom is actually the winner today. Hey. Oh, Congratulations to Turkey Tom, man. Oh my congratulations God. to the white man yet again winning. Of course, it's your fucking community, but we need to talk about this later. Anyways, congratulations, Turkey. Oh, wow. What the fuck is this nigga doing? Like, really? This makes us it's look bad, by the way. This, 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 okay, stop. Fucking, like, talk or something. Holy okay. shit. Sorry. Yo, you were you were good, bro. I, I fucking yeah. I was nervous, honestly. I was nervous. You did a really good job. But, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, respect. Um, I guess I had to give my farewells. Uh yeah, thank you all for having me. Um uh, it was great talking to y'all. Good. You know, I, I do know who you are, Q, so I thank you for your support. I didn't know you really watch me or not, man. I just saying I thought you were just chatting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, shout out to y'all. Thank you for having me. Shout out to Turkey. Shout out to the chat. Um, I don't stream anyway, so I didn't need 500 subs. So, man, congrats Damn. to see you. So. Wow. <laughs> but uh, I'll catch y'all later, man. Hopefully I can come on the next one or whatever y'all do next. But thank y'all. We'll Absolutely. Fun. Thank Bye. you for coming on. For sure. Wait a second. Does Turkey, Turkey Tom, piece of Does he stream on He kick? doesn't stream. <laughs> on kick? Nope. Nope. No, he just PayPal the nigga. Actually, Turkey Tom YouTube. Said, I stream on YouTube. Since Nigga, he ain't giving you nothing on YouTube. YouTube don't pay this, nigga. It's a kick show. <laughs> it's meant to be subs on kick. Holy shit. Also, like, well, if only the host had communicated that to any of the guests. 
Oh, I'll send you five. I'll send you five. I will keep one one. I'll send you five. No, 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 stop. I can't give him a prize. You didn't get a prize for winning? No, wait, stop. Wait, 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 stop. One second, one second. Turkey, let's negotiate. You know what I mean? One mil subs. You don't need 500. Just say I give it to Q this week. You know what I mean? <laughs> Pass it on to Q. No. Show some goodwill. You fucking bitch. Okay. Listen, I tried. I tried. Okay. PayPal him 500. Okay. I'm going to send that money okay. to whatever your religious opposition is so they can kill your people. <laughs> oh, he's donating that money right okay. to America. <laughs> <laughs> or kick.com slash slicker, by the way. It's the same idea. That's going to my Shout quarter to three people. tax payment, bitch. Oh, wow. Well, wait, five hundred dollars would pay their taxes, dude. It's just part YouTube of it. YouTube must not okay? be paying good. YouTube must not be paying good. Holy You're wearing shit. a fucking rag on your head with fucking poop on it, bro. Fuck you. Gucci, Gucci, oh, Prada, poop on it. Where's the poop other than the slight bit of my skin that's showing again? You just called me shit skin. Are you a fan Destiny, of SM? Uh, you watch okay, Asanabi? Okay. I will DM you my PayPal email. Um, well, wow, you really uh, you you, you really chose an amount one hundred dollar lower than um, the requirement to file a W nine for someone, which is probably pretty smart. Wow, thanks. Or it literally could just be five hundred dollars a nice brown number, and who the fuck cares about IRS IRS limits on tax filings? But thank you. I don't know why you um, apparently you because you brag about overpaying taxes like a little bitch. Who brags okay? about overpaying? I complain about overpaying taxes. Okay. You you were like oh, I'm from California. I overpay my taxes. Okay, I'm a good guy. That's why I left California. Fuck that cringe shit. Where do you live? What state do you live? Uh, I, fuck, I don't want to get into this, bro, okay? Listen, oh my I'm currently God. living in think... Canada. I don't want to explain it. I don't oh, want to go into this. <laughs> international tax fraud. I got you, bro. I got you. Nice job, nice job. I okay. am from Maine originally, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm from Maine. Okay. Okay, is this, like, homosexual fucking ass-sucking session over? Just send the nigga his money so he could fuck out of here. Yeah, I'll Turkey do it. Turkey Tom. Bro, you're gonna get the fuck again. out of here too. Nobody okay. knows who the fuck you are. I, honestly, oh. maybe you need, maybe you need, maybe you need the Manscaped sponsor. Honestly, you've only. I don't even know what you look like, bro. Holy shit! Like, goddamn, I could fucking make a T-shirt off out of that shit. Anyways, I'm, I'm famous. Lot, you said okay? I'm famous. Like, I didn't find part. out about you when I was looking for fucking people on this panel. You might be famous to like fucking 15 year olds, buddy. But I don't know who the fuck you are, other than you know. You bro, you're 30. Style, you're bro. 38 years old on this fucking live stream, dude. I'm 20. I make more buddy, money than you. Between Sorry, me and you, between me and you are a rough looking 21. I could have put all my money that you were 28. Wait, there's no way rough, Turkey you know, Tom is 21 years old. This motherfucker I'm looks. I'm 21. Older. What do you mean, bro? Holy shit. No shot, he is. Oh my no god. No more taking him seriously anymore, Lil. You didn't believe you thought I'm I don't look geriatric. Leave me the fuck alone, bro. Oh my goodness. Anyway. <laughs> There's no response. Well, I'm, I won! I don't have to get roasted on the stream. Well. Night's fun. I like it. I like it. Okay. Well good job. Good luck. We are we're proud of you. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to say. Why is this motherfucker still here? Usually, yeah, that's what I'm, the, you, Turkey, wait, usually when I leave, you, you like, say, I love you, buddy, and I say, I love you, too. Right, oh, love you, he's one of those people. I love people. you, buddy. Stay oh, safe, yikes. okay? I love you, too. Be Stay careful, safe. Q, yeah. go. <laughs> Be a better producer. Oh. Shut the fuck. First of all, it was a great episode. He's just bitching. He's just bitching. Number one. Number two, we seriously. First of all, thoughts on the episode, go. Other than we need to mute motherfuckers, because yes, we do. We need to mute motherfuckers. Actually, it was, you do that. It was, I, okay. I, I hate muted people. Here's what I think we should do, okay? Um, and this requires a little bit more research, but I think when we ask questions of, um, like, themed episodes, I think the question should be ones that are intentionally divisive among the uh, crowd. So, for instance... He's, oh, wait. That I'm sure they there are the some things thing. that these commentary people, like, disagree on. I think we should have honed in on those questions rather than more general ones, I think. Do you know how, by the way, by mm -hmm. the way, by the way, uh, it wasn't only me. It okay. wasn't, yeah, by the way, by the way, by the, by the way, way, by the it way. wasn't only me. Okay. I had a team of motherfuckers working on this shit. These motherfuckers say the exact same thing pretty much. Every, si you know what? Leafy says something different. We can't have him on since you don't like him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Bo Blacks, he says something different. You don't like him. You know, the people that disagree aren't wait, the I people that you fuck with. Oh, wait, never mind. You're right. Um, yeah, there you go. Like these people say the same thing. Wait, so it is all, incredibly every difficult. single one of these people all have agreements on every single drama they've all covered. I covered the Fusi Tube shit. Pretty much agreed, other than Low and um, what's his name, uh -huh. Turkey, agreeing slight, disagreeing slightly. 
the um Aiden shit pretty much agreed. The uh wait, hold on, let me go through it actually. Fresh and Fit, they agreed. The Creator shit, they agreed. Two Match shit, they agreed. Speed shit, they agreed. YouTube DMCA, they agreed. Every single, like, these people agree on pretty much everything. Trust me, you could look super hard, but the people that disagree, because again, I swear to God, I would have reached out to Luffy. Fucking Luffy. Uh, I was about to say Luffy. Leafy. Mm -hmm. I wanted that nigga on, but hey, we can't have that nigga on. But he disagrees with all these niggas. It would have been entertaining as fuck, but again. Are there no the other people shit, so in the commentary hard. community that, besides fucking Leafy and Boblat? What about that, like, it's a Gundam kid? Doesn't he disagree with a bunch of people? Mm. I'm sure they're out there, but... I think... Okay, yeah, I'm sure they're out there, but I would say the panel has been was fucking stacked. I think the panel was stacked. I think it was great. Uh, obviously, you know, it could have been a bit more divisive. I always go for those anyways, but it was... Just with the panel that we selected, I wanted to go for the best possible panel. But that sacrificed, you know, some of the divisive questions, which, to be honest, didn't even... Like, there would have been one or two, pretty much. It's hard. But uh, okay, I'd then. say, other than muting niggas, like, the questions for this episode, which was whatever, uh -huh. w voting needs to be reworked. It needs to be reworked. It needs to fucking be reworked. Now, there's two things that we could do. Oh. We could either have each one of us, right, have one veto each, so let's say... Like, two people are getting eliminated. We want one person to stay on. We veto, like, we veto that person. They can't fucking, uh, they can't kick that person out. So the person that was above them, so the third lowest voted contestant, is the one that drops into the fucking elimination pool or whatever the fuck, right? We could do that. Or, instead of keep, not kick, we could do kick, not keep. Hmm. Pick one. You gotta pick one, cause again, we can't leave it. Your fucking community is retarded. I mean, Roger's community used to be retarded, but oh, wait, at hold least on. it's not like anybody got niggas. kicked today that was like really bad. No, was there? Not today, but it it happens way too often. It happens way like obviously. Here's the thing: Tom and Low were pretty close, content wise. But obviously, Tom's gonna win just because Tom is more familiar with the stream. He's been on a couple of times. Obviously, like you don't need to be a rocket scientist to know that they would have voted for Tom, even though he was pretty much saying, "Hey." Toxic community, you deserve to get talk, uh, the docs, you know what I mean? Who gives a fuck? You know, you invite these things. Like, he said some retarded shit that your community was disagreeing with. I went to the fucking chat. They were all like, this is fucking stupid. I'll take, I'll take. But when it came to voting, they still fucking voted for him, right? So we need to be fair to people. Also, Darius was fucking in, like, last week, Darius was in the Discord talking about, vote for Zeta, it'll be content, guys, please. Just fucking putting the link. Which, again, it's fucking the whole idea of the show up. So we either do kick, not keep, or me and you have a, a veto. Or we do both. Maybe Pick. we'll change it. Yeah, I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll think about it before next episode. We'll do something different for the next episode voting. I like, will you do it last second? Maybe. Who the fuck like, cares? Just, it doesn't matter. It's when, as soon as the show starts. I like the voting to kick, not keep. Maybe. It might be interesting. Maybe. Okay. So that's confirmed. We're going to do vote. What about the veto one? I like the veto one. Cause I sometimes like the veto there's because then it's just host playing favorites. And when money's involved, it feels so fucking lame. Okay. L let me ask you a question. Yeah. When Rod used to host his shows, 100% scripted. Like he'd have the, like, like he'd script these things. Like, I'm not telling you to script, but at the same time, this is not you fucking with the show's integrity by, like, let's say the vote, like, the I vote agree that it was scripted, but I feel like that removes some of the excitement sometimes in some of the awesome shows. I got, like, hardcore scripted towards the end, yeah, because he would tell you basically who you were picking for the date shows or who you were picking for, yeah, to kick off. So, and we're not scripting it like crazy. All we're doing is, if somebody is fucking great content and we want to keep them on, we could do a veto. Okay, instead of two vetoes, let's just have one and like either one of us could use it. Well, I'll think, Plus the I'll, I'll think the problem is like, I just need to see this happening on shows. I don't think on this show, or the last show, I don't think the audience fucked up and voting anybody off. That was like really good content. I don't think it happened. I don't think Wait, it's happened you, for a while. Didn't they vote off like Wes super early was actually being content? Who? Wes. Wes? The, the chat. Yeah. When he was actually being content and engaging and going back and forth, blah, blah, blah. They had vegan gains voting whether to kick Wes or somebody else. I'd have, I'd have to go and check. That doesn't sound right, but I'd have to go and check, maybe. It was between him and Xena. Vegan gains got the highest amount of votes, and wait, it was wait. between Wes and Oh, Zena. wait. How many people were left? Was this just between, like, three or four people? No, no, no. It was between, like, six or something. People are saying Wes got to the final four. I mean, it's not like he's supposed to win, right? It's not that he's supposed to win. First of all, it was five. It was five. Oh, people, people are saying it was five. Right? Okay. It was five. Again, immaculate memory. Thank you very much. Second of all, again, 
it's cucking fucking content. I'm not telling you script the whole thing. Just have one fucking random veto between the both of us. And maybe change it to kick, not keep. I'll think about it. Right? I'll think about it. The problem is it's just so fucking unfair that the host is saying, sorry, this person is automatically going through because they're funnier than the rest. I don't know. It just seems like so unfair. But I'll think about okay. it. I, we'll try to vote the kick, not keep. We'll try that, okay? All I'm going... Okay, thank you. At least we got that one through. But I'm telling you, we're just a carbon copy of Raj right now. I'm trying to bring something else to the fucking table. Okay. I don't want to do the Raj shit. We'll you want me to put it. on an Indian accent? Half the niggas think I'm Indian anyways. Like, at this point, it's shameless. Maybe okay? I'll think of another way we're, we can okay, tweak votes. Or but okay, yeah, sure. We'll think between now then. But the, right now, we'll do kick, not kick. We'll try that, okay? Okay, there we go. All right. All right. I'm out. Take care. You. Be careful, babe.